All right, let's get back into this. Opie and Anthony, Patrice O'Neill in studio. Phone's lit. Uh, Brooklyn Ace, I think Anthony should run for Senate. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sure the sets for Sam tapes would uh, really get me into office. Yeah. Tim in Portland, <laughs> I paid over $2 million in taxes last year. It needs to get over it. Uh, uh, no, no, let me just run no. down this. Bill in California, there's no law that says you have to pay income taxes. That old gag. That old I, gag? I, I know it's real, but really... You got to try it. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at by that old gag. Yeah, All they do exactly. is say, yes, you do. And, and that's it. If you don't. And that's it. You understand how we're living, man? Yeah, hold that's on a minute. Scary. Ant doesn't know how right he is. There's a lot of dudes out here who will look at this guy as a martyr, even though you yeah. you didn't say martyr with this guy, did you? Yeah, I said a lot of people will look at him. Or, or there are certain people that will look at him as a martyr, right? as a patriot. Talking about the guy who uh, crashed oh. into that building, yeah. the IRS building in uh, Austin. Uh... What about Charlie Rangel? He hasn't paid taxes for years, and he just gets a pass. I've been battling yeah. the IRS for 12 years. There's just thugs for Congress. Uh, I've had problems with the IRS, and while I don't agree with this guy, I understand. Yeah. And if this guy listened to all the tax relief commercials you guys air, he wouldn't have run the plane into the building. <laughs> so, yeah. Patrice, I got a note that you were just uh, uh, foaming listening to the show on, on your way in today, huh? I wish I could go back in time and, uh, sorry, is that no, no, I'm fine, believe I wish I could go back in time and not be so fucking dumb. Because I think when they say youth is wasted on the young, yeah. I think it means you, we're all irrelevant right now. Mm -hmm. The people that are fucking mad, it don't matter. We're old, matter. we're stuck. We, I love my ceiling fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got some dogs. Mm -hmm. Bitch needs some shoes. Uh, something happens to say I need to pay. You're, 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 you're in you, your rut. You are a willing participant uh -huh. in this shit. Oh, we've been brainwashed. Many, many years of growing you're, up in this. We're just kind of brainwashed. You're part of the machine. Part yeah. of the machine. <laughs> but uh, I heard a guy do an interview one time on, on one of these... Um, you know, like the Info Wars, the Alex Jones kind of thing. He mm -hmm. was just doing an interview, and it was it was it was on iTunes, and he said something, and, and it stuck with me just in a practical way. He said, um, "He said, are you aren't you just uh, like he was talking about like how to, the government has a thing they call uh, 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 Bohemian Grove, where they just all go there and all the leaders of the world put on suits and they burn owls and it's a fact. <laughs> it's not." pretend thing and he just goes that that doesn't bother you like he didn't even try to make a point he goes doesn't that just bother you and so at the end of the day the government the fact is the government owes the bank mm -hmm. the bank of the federal reserve bank it, it this is owns the government the government o owes them money Yeah, when you owe someone they own you the government owns us. We are here only to pay the government back for the money it owes the bank. That's what we are. And fuck the argument. That doesn't bother you? We're just the fucking batteries in the matrix. <laughs> they, they don't take all your money because they don't have enough people to stop 300 million people from fucking shit up. From taking all our money. All of it. It's arbitrary. But, but you know something? When income tax first started, if they said 50%, give us half your shit, mm -hmm. there would have been a revolution when they first immediately. did it. Immediately. We're yeah. living worse. But they're able to just, every few years, they change the tax code, which I talked about just before, which is a giant fucking volumes of shit no one could possibly understand no one could possibly fucking understand it, it's it's it but there's people who are so willing and this is the thing it can't happen without our own help this is why i hate people oh, where we're, we're <laughs> I, 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 I hate people i hate the tsa i hate uh uh mm -hmm. uh the fucking Good. meter maids yeah i hate people whose job it is to fuck you because it's their job mm -hmm. It, and they just That's say, a lot they, of go, jobs, they go, thank you. Yes. It's like, listen, we need you to just give uh, out tickets. We don't give a fuck. Guy's trying to get into to work. He parks. He might come out. 
It's 30 seconds overtime. Give him a fucking $65. And all and, he's and, trying to do is hit his job. He, he, it's he, not like he's decided to park there and do something yeah, yeah. leisurely. He's actually trying to get his job done for that. And, and the politicians just look the other way. That shit drives me fucking nuts because you, you hear from these companies. They go, well, I had to go down to City Hall and make a deal with them because I owed over $100,000 in parking tickets for doing his job for and for his doing. employees doing yeah. their jobs. They don't care. Right. And the, the money doesn't exist. The mm. money doesn't exist. This is why they print it all. Because here's the thing. Have you ever looked in your bank account? I mean, I know you got a lot of money, but you still must just enjoy hearing the fucking balance from time to time on something. No, nowadays it just makes me nervous. Just to, because I've gone into yeah. my account. I'm not at a place where I go f not, not into my account. Mm hmm and sometimes there might be a dollar missing or ten. I go, hmm. I know that I had something, something, something. <laughs> ten. Ten. <laughs> I got something, something, something. Four. Not ten. Four. <laughs> it's like, what? So I'm like, somebody just took something. Because I paid for, I swear to God, I paid for uh, a coffee once. It was two dollars. I paid with a credit card. We don't have money's useless right mm. now. So once all the money is just garbage, and we're paying. They could just take it. They don't need to come and send the army to take your shit. They just take your shit, pay back somebody. That that see, this is where all we talk about race a lot on this show and shit, man. I love talking about races. I think this shit is fun. Yeah, I think it's it fun not absolutely. liking other motherfuckers for what they do. <laughs> exactly. But at the end of the day, I don't have any hatred because I know it's a scam to get my. I used to hate these the militia guys in the hills. Mm -hmm. You know, they they have they paint them to me as a black man, crazy motherfuckers who are out to kill me. That's yeah, yeah. their point. K -K -K They're practicing and, right. to kill me. Yeah, those guys are practicing for the government because <laughs> they don't want to fucking pay taxes. They're well read about the fucking uh, uh, the, the the Constitution mm -hmm. when they go when they go uh, uh, the Second Amendment guns we no guns to me you if you're not educated to some degree yeah you go oh uh, why the fuck do these crazy goddamn crackers need guns <laughs> all they gonna do is come kill me what the fuck I fuck that get them <laughs> but now I know once you learn oh shit it's to protect you from what's going on right fucking now. Cops are out of hand. I mean, look, there's some as a as a where I grew up, mm -hmm. a cop is a cop because he got his uniform on. We didn't give a fuck about a cop. Cop was the enemy. As I get older, on property, meet police. <laughs> yes, exactly. And, you want and them humanize there. them, right? Mm -hmm. I go, damn. I don't just say, oh, fuck a cop, but there are cops who think they're the police because they're the police. <laughs> they not the law. There used to be things you could say, like, hey, man, you can't just do that to me, cop. They have a thing called disorderly conduct, which erases all your horse shit that you think you know about the law. It's essentially to say, I can do anything I fucking want to you. Oh, you can be brought anytime. in for anything. Anytime. anytime. Yeah, anytime. Disorderly Don't conduct. Don't question authority. Disorderly, uh, disorderly conduct is that one of those things where it's like, I just, I didn't like what you just said yes. to me. Yes. And we, and here's the mm. problem. Fuck all the top people. It's us doing it to each We just say yes. Yeah, I yeah. will fuck other people. Yeah, we're at yes. the bottom of the little marionette strings. <laughs> you know? We just go yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So what? Guy, guy, and I fucking African, quote unquote, tries to blow up a plate. This inept. Little douchebag with his underwear African, bomb. With his underwear bomb to get us to submit to showing my non big dick in an X ray. <laughs> no, now we gotta all show our penises. My funny, my funny hanging balls. Some cunt, some fat bitch from Newark. She gets to see my balls hang, and she gets level twelve clearance. It's bullshit. I'm, I'm gonna make my balls very gamey. For now on, when I have to fly, <laughs> just so they could see a fungus. Yeah, just very. Let something grow to it becomes but, uh, uh, explosive material. <laughs> but Patrice, <laughs> you're going off on a lot of different uh, tangents. Not here, really, which is but fine. It's the same. Not really. But bring it back to the guy who uh, crashed his plane down it's there. It's all Austin. the same. Yeah, that's he what did I'm that for that. He he feels why, like he'd rather die. And why doesn't the mainstream media? Because when we say the media, people go, "You're the media." 
Uh, why doesn't the mainstream media pick up on some of these points? And why do they just go for the do easy, you know the why? easy out and just go, well, uh, another fucking kook decided to blah blah. Because they're part, they're the TSA. They're they're the the the, the National Guard who, if they're told to come Dude. and lock down a community, yeah, yeah, or they're the guys in the movies with the with the helmets on <laughs> that say you got the outbreak monkey shit. <laughs> the, the the news are are just they're they're told what to fucking do, and yeah. they do it. Listen, and then going with that point, we have uh, eight TVs in the studio right now. We have a guy that flew a plane into a building yesterday because he's a bit disgruntled, and some say he's just a crazy man, whatever. So crazy. But it certainly yeah. should open up a discussion. Yep. But instead, I'm watching the TVs around our studio tiger, set up for the tiger, big Tiger, tiger Woods tiger. fucking press conference today. Tiger, Look, tiger, there's a guy. Tiger, he's tiger. live. He's a local guy. He has to be there for the big Tiger Woods press conference today, which is a nothing press conference that's going to last less than five minutes. It means fucking nothing to just about every single person that's going to watch this horse shit and on TV an today. Open dialogue and, and, and on they this. don't want that. I'm a, I'll don't tell you what they they'll do. do not. They'll fucking shake Haiti again before they let this motherfucker. <laughs> they'll figure out how to make Haiti have another earthquake Hard. so we can sing songs so so that this motherfucker looks like a lone kook that That's you don't it. talk about but this motherfucker killed Re himself reading look at this. reading his fucking letter dude you you understand but, his frustration but look at this they're discussing uh, maybe i can pop they're it discussing time yeah, you know you think about that uh, and uh, i think uh, david Faraday, uh the golf uh, analyst said he wouldn't be surprised if he sees tiger uh, take the whole year off uh, wow a lot of really think uh, he's going to go back to rehab and then uh, the feeling God is killed he's himself going to play in the, in Bay, plane. You know, the Arnold Palmer event, which is just outside of his house. This is what uh, they need to and, discuss. Uh, Matt at the IRS. And, and, uh, they're just and then, discussing you know, it in a serious a manner like they if should be discussing the guy that just flew a plane into a building. This, this is David Blaine waving his hand over to the left uh, while he does something over here on the right. This is what they're discussing today. I've barely seen coverage on the plane crash. Barely. That's a story from outside here. Let's send it back to you guys. See you in the next hour. Thank you, Duke. All right, you can see Tiger's comments right here. Well, thank God. This thank you. At thank you. Well, thank you. Also yeah, we had an open discussion well, about um, uh, t taxes and the government and and why an individual would do something like this instead of just writing it off as a manifesto, a, a, a wandering, um, crazy diatribe. Uh, how about you just openly discuss it? Mm -hmm. uh, I like what Patrice said about we are more fucked now than we were when we like left England. When and, we and, when and this came country here, was when, created, when it was a colony, and England said, "Send your shit. You could live there, mm -hmm. but send all your shit over to us. All the riches and and good shit because you belong to us still." And then the Patriots said, "You know something? I like this place. Fuck the king. Fuck this shit. This is now us. We live here." And then England goes, "Hey, no, fuck you. We're yours. All right, war. Now we're gonna fight you." To keep this shit. It's worse now than it was then. Yep. They're asking for a lot more. Yep. Even in, you know, now dollars and shit like that. Uh, I always liked the quote, the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. You would well, never are, are hear you a politician willing, Are you willing say to take now. a bullet, though? I am much too on the, important. On the, on the LIE. <laughs> I am That's much what I'm saying. too important. Uh, I know exactly. Are you that, willing to take, get smoked that for saying, your belief? Though, that's that 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 quote is is Thomas Jefferson, who is looked at as you know the fucking patriot, national hero, fucking founding father. But he said shit like that. That if you said it now, you're locked the fuck up as some kooky militant militia guy. And here's the thing: if you look at the Constitution, mm -hmm. they put things. And in order, order of importance, of importance to keep England from fucking you in your asshole. They didn't say in no particular order. First thing, <laughs> yeah. the news. Yeah. Meaning what you just said. Why is this douchebag talking about Tiger well, when this should guy be talking about something a little more serious? Thinking yeah. he did a revolutionary act to please everybody. Listen, right. right. The freedom of press. The mm -hmm. freedom for for people to go. No, 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 no. This is some fucked up shit going on. Yeah. But this, the press isn't free. Fox is, you know, they they own news. CNN owns news. This shit is. Yeah. So the second thing is guns. Right. They thought that the people should have pistols. Number two with a bullet, guns.
Number two. <laughs> Number two. Number thriller. The thriller of Constitution. <laughs> Man, no, no, no. The Eagles. The Eagles uh Best Greatest Hits album. Number one that the Eagles of the Constitution was the press should be able to say anything they fucking want. They just right. expose this bullshit. Number two, in Speak case you said mind, that, without persecution. Thriller was fucking and then I don't even know what uh, ACDC Black... Uh, the, I think, I think that's one of those wacky, you shall not be able to take a soldier and yeah. put him in your house and board him during some type of war or peace time. Kind of this war is activity. Old, there's, a thing, there's, a, there's a term, a term called uh, uh, posse comitatus. You know, you just be on there, one thing leads to another. Posse comitatus, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a law, supposedly. You yeah. know, they made yeah. it. The Army can't do civilian police work. Right. If you see an army in your neighborhood, a motherfucker with army shit, <laughs> yes. that's illegal. The government is not supposed to be sending the fucking army to do shit in your neighborhood. It's mm -hmm. standing army where you live. It's illegal. But whatever. <laughs> but that's what we are. Hey, what you going to do? They want what they want. Two million dollars. Hey, stop complaining. Yeah, I stop play, complaining. I play my tides. You douches. The guy doesn't even understand. I understand you paid over two million in taxes right, last year. Were you guy. happy? Let's say hi to Tim in uh, Portland. Hey, Tim. Tim. Tim, were you happy paying over two million dollars in taxes? And what percentage of what you make is two million? Uh, you know, honestly, I got to set this up the right way and say that uh, I used to be a poor black kid in the Bronx, and I grew up and I got into microprocessing, and um, you know, so I I always dreamed about being rich, and now that I am, it really doesn't. It it. I just look at it this way: the government is the biggest mafia in the world. And you gotta pay to play. Gotta pay to play. And you're okay with that? No, I'm not okay with it. But when, uh, I, I believe that the, the asshole who killed himself would have killed himself for another reason. He was nuts. It had nothing to do with taxes. Well, when uh, is uh, when is enough going to be enough, though? That's the question uh, today. Uh, well, That's the question today. Is they continue to take more and more uh, of, of your money, and and you do feel out there something is going on something's bubbling and what is that going to lead is that going to lead to anything maybe it, maybe it never leads to anything i don't know and when will you feel yeah when like will you feel, feel it yeah. right well honestly i always feel like something's bubbling because i'm a black guy but <laughs> but i mean honestly uh, I think you're I'm, lying. I'm always afraid of people <laughs> so the idea of a bunch of people getting together with this fervor i mean first they're pissed off about the taxes then they're coming for my ass and it's a big plan too brother because listen it, everybody, it's like everything in this world, right? The, this is a lottery. Mm -hmm. We gotta have some people hit a lottery so everybody can think that they can win. Right, right. So Hope. when when you have a <laughs> bootstrap story like you picked yourself up from the Bronx, everybody has to. We have to hear these kind of stories to make people who might fly a plane into a building for some reason go maybe tomorrow. Yeah, right. Go. <laughs> maybe hey, tomorrow's this my guy's day. an yeah, asshole. Where I get to make my money. Because I did it. But right. it's not, this is a system, man, that's based on, like, like a lot of women don't understand, right? The women's liber thing. The women's liberation mm -hmm. movement. They think it was based on, hey, we're tired. It's wrong to just continue to fuck women on every level. <laughs> no, it's because these bitches was home raising the kids and they wasn't getting taxed. <laughs> they, had, sure they, didn't, they didn't make no motherfucking money. So get these bitches riled up so they can go out there and make some money so we can take that shit because we owe. Half the population isn't paying taxes. Oh. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Get we them owe, out nigga. there working. Hold on a minute. probably going to look down if he's really feeling emotional. Do you think he should read from a statement or do you think he should just say it from his heart? <laughs> Reading from a statement is the worst thing. You come across as unemotional. It's just right, tiger right. woods. Tiger woods. Right. So what I, you want to I do? You want to make very disillusioned. And then <laughs> now they're doing body language. They got okay. body language I'm he's experts. He's going to be doing some self-touching, pacification, oh, making himself feel pacification better. really Look for what genuine remorse. What is he going to suck really on the nipple of a hooker? Yeah. Let's look at some of the uh, past uh, mea culpas that we've had in our news. Uh, the first one is our former <laughs> slide of hand Elliot right Spitzer, there. He apologized. There's some slide of hand you're saying. You're seeing magic tricks. To every New York, and oh, and to, yeah. I guarantee if you find something that's talking about the IRS guy, mm -hmm. they, he's just a mental case. Whoa, 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 and whoa. That's what he is. Patrice, ATVs on. Every once in a while, I see the shot of the building on fire, but I don't see them sitting down with experts. They're not discussing, or, right? Or or, or, or anybody. I, I'm sure they did a little discussing on Fox News last night, but and, not in, in and the, CNN and not, MSNBC, but uh, not on a level of what what 
was affecting him that he did this. They didn't. They don't delve into it. Like so, I said, just broad there strokes, six, right? Six pages that this guy wrote that was pretty concise and understandable. It wasn't. It wasn't a rambling diatribe. I understood everything that was written there. It wasn't like so, uh, my dog was talking to me. Satan told me to do this. Fucking, you know, it, it, it made sense. It was his story. From the time he was uh, in high school till the time he said uh, goodbye, I'm fucking crashing my plane uh, into a building. All in between was his life and how disgusted he was at American people for just being sheep and how uh, he bought into it and then how disillusioned he got when time and time again he just got fucked in the sure. ass. What? And then it's like... I had no problem understanding what he was writing. Why? Why? I'm not flying a plane into a fucking building, right, right. They, but I understood his writings. They uh, basically label us as shock jocks. Why are we talking about this way more than any fucking news reader? This today? is shocking. Uh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, because they thing. don't want to. Yeah. And, and a Rod. The, yeah. Also a Rod. A, uh, yeah. Apology. Throw A Rod. Yeah. Had to do with steroids. My cousin started telling the White House also said. And they put this out so quickly. This is not a terrorist event. This, don't worry, it's not terrorism. Now, hold on. Uh, I see. Here is yeah. a guy. I see what you're doing over there. That is disgruntled Whoa, a bit. with the United <laughs> States government and decided to take a, a violent action against <clears throat> the government because of his um, hatred, disillusionment, uh, disenchantment, whatever. He is a terrorist. But you. You know, I'm not saying, but the reason they're not right, is right. because, you know, they call it big sis now. They're not big brother. Right. right if people right. are not, you know, they call these called big brother. Now it's big sis because there's a woman yeah. that runs the show. She made priority one in terms of terrorism acts, but no one's talking about it. It's just in there. Just, are white are the crazy crackers in the hills? Yeah. Yeah. Our yeah. Number one priority for the safety of this country are the crazy the, the quote unquote because I'm on the, I'm saying quote unquote because I'm I'm not buying into it mm -hmm. is these guys in the hills who just want to be left alone. Yeah, those guys are the next guys. This is perfect for them to muscle those dudes like mm -hmm. the not not even uh, what was Ruby Ridge. Ruby Ridge, right, right. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, not not necessarily Dave, Waco. but Dave Waco, but. That was one of those things where they make us go, this is a, this is a fucking kook. <laughs> but yeah. here's the thing. 30 million black folks, right? Okay. Very difficult for me to go. Yeah, this, this guy with his fucking, uh, crocodile Dundee hat and his, <laughs> and his fucking cross eye. <laughs> I'm on his side. See, it, that's why the racial game has to go on. Right. Because if you're going up there fucking with these crazy crackers in the hill who have cults, and we don't apply mind thinking to that this is this is all a setup because the government doesn't want us to really it's be a upset. divide and conquer kind of a thing too. It, there's strength in numbers, so the more you can put people into categories and divide them up, the less they're going to get together and band together and go. We're getting fucked here. That's why everybody and and don't get this uh, twisted, anybody. I do not See, again. I do not support uh, us. Being together, <laughs> yes, me because neither. anybody <laughs> who has any charisma that could galvanize people to think and come together for common good in, in history gets fucking smoked. <laughs> Starting with Jesus, <laughs> Gandhi, smoked, Lincoln, yep. free the slaves, smoked. Yep, Malcolm X when he was hating white folks. Wonderful life he was living. Mm -hmm. When he went and found out white people were like Muslim, like him, and he was rethinking it. Get your hand on my pocket, nigga. <laughs> smoked. <laughs> Martin Luther King smoked. Gandhi smoked. Yeah. yeah. Fucking D D Donald Rumsfeld lives a wonderful life. Anwar Sadat fucking shaking hands with Menachem Begin. Smoked. Smoked. Bringing people together. <laughs> what kind of cigarettes? <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> fucking lead, lead <laughs> cigarettes. Oh, oh, <laughs> fucking oh. leddies. They call them leddy non-filters. Dead. Oh, dead. S sorry, dead. <laughs> sorry for all the fucking crackers in the hills that I'm trying to relate to. He was murdered. <laughs> all right, listen, uh, we're gonna take a break, and uh, we'll move on to other things, but we'll keep this topic uh, on the table today, right? Yeah, it's a biggie.
You want to go to break with an outtake from the We Are the World uh, recording session from yesterday? Oh, yeah. why wouldn't we? This is our distraction to make you forget about all the money that the government's taking. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. We're no so better than anyone else. We'll just distract you. Uh, the the behind the scenes video is up on my YouTube channel, Opie Radio, whatever. The 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 video that's really hot today is fucking read read this palm. Uh, no, read this. Uh, uh, what the fuck is it again? Read this palm, you gypsy bitch. You gypsy bitch, which oh, is right on the front page of WWTDD.com. It's the video with uh, the commentary from the show yesterday, uh, starring, I mean starring Patrice O'Neill. It's it's great if you haven't seen it yet. But first, a little behind-the-scenes action from the We Are the World uh, recording session. Comic duo Pat from Minaki reacts to Sam and E-Rock talking quietly. Sandy King gets excited about Diet Pepsi. Just some of the babble that was happening in between takes yesterday. God, they say it. I can read his lips. Big A sucks. You should throw him out. Pat <laughs> <laughs> has nine toes. He's horrible. <laughs> Diet Pepsi in the fucking house. Diet Pepsi. We should go back and. You got no idea. Sponsor great. You should have a sponsor. We won't hold it. Yeah. Product placement. We shall hold gold dip roses. <laughs> Stephen Singer. Yeah. Stephen, not singers. The Stephen mm. Singers. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got a lot going on today. We're going to have Laszlo come in and do a little tech action for us. Uh, the Tiger Woods thing, uh, Patrice. We're going to change gears for a little while, but then we're going to get into some Keith Overman audio, which is terrific. Oh, really? What's he talking about? It's terrific. I'm uh, talking about tea parties, the tea party movement, and racism against Obama. <clears throat> you know, people aren't happy with Obama, so he just quickly assumes it's got to be just uh, completely racist. Yeah, but it goes with everything we were talking about for the last hour. Well, mostly Anthony was talking about uh, for the last hour. But uh, the Tiger Woods thing there, Patrice, big uh, big press conference yeah. today at 11 o'clock. A lot of the media is saying, hey, he owes me an apology. Very interesting. What does that even mean? I, I don't know. Someone owe you. I'm Whatever. sorry I got a whole bunch of pussy got caught. <laughs> and, they th and they're saying he owes an apology to his the family other and golfers. Oh, right. Yeah, really? Really? He for made what reason? He what he did for the other golfers is made them more money because the sport the sport in general because of Tiger Woods got richer. So these guys got richer. They they're angry a lot of these guys like I think Sergio something Garcia? something Sergio uh, not important though is <laughs> fucking really upset that people are asking him questions oh, really? about Tiger oh, yeah, and Tiger left his colleagues to like golf is a game you can play absolutely by yourself you you're trying to beat numbers i mean let's be honest yeah, you don't have to ha be yeah. playing yeah you could be out there on the course by yourself you're you, absolutely right you can bowl by yourself and go hey i bowled a goddamn 300 you don't need somebody else to go yes you did <laughs> <laughs> you just do it <laughs> i was he bowled it against me you don't i don't right. need it, you it's it's definitely a individual sport big time yeah. they make believe it's not but you're right. They're 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 basically golfing uh, for a number. You owe me an apology. You don't owe nobody shit. Suck a that's, dick. That's what I was tweeting <laughs> last night. This fucking fucking was with the, me. Fucking the ratings on golf are way the fuck down compared to this part of the season last year because it, the season's not really heating up yet. Or the, you know the the uh, the uh, the uh, the the. Um, Holy shit! I'm having a tough time. Uh, right, the, right. the Masters and all that. What are they called? The 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 the, the, the holy PGA shit! Four, how am I uh, the majors? The majors. Uh, My God, I'm losing sorry, it. Sorry. The majors aren't even. You know, they're From right around on, the corner. It'll, it'll, it'll take about six more years for you to completely oh. uh, for the signs to really holy for your hands to start shaking. Just so six years, enjoy it. Starts, holy it, shit! It starts with forgetting <laughs> two what plus the two fuck? is uh, <laughs> it, uh <laughs> it's fuck. I, what, uh, four? Yes! <laughs> I just had one of those days yesterday. I had a lot of shit to do, so I'm like, fuck, I think I'm mentally I'm just fucking tired Sorry, today. Man. Of course the majors. But anyway, what I'm saying is the, he doesn't owe the golfers anything because... Yeah, no one's watching golf because Tiger's not playing. What they what they want is Tiger to get back immediately. Immediately. Well, he's... he's. I mean, that's the thing. This is the reason why, like, Obama's speeches are very... Like, wa it's watched because... 
in, in a in a in a place full of white. Everybody goes, oh, he stands out. Tiger mm. stands out because yeah. really, uh, uh, not Greg Norman. We said his name yesterday. The other guy, I'm I'm not too the the guy that's like one of the Phil Nicholson. Phil right, Nicholson, yeah, yeah. right? It's like he can't be the face of golf. No. He's like, Ugh, Does, you are golf. Tiger's <laughs> not golf, and that's why. There's not a close you know, love watching yeah, him. There's not a close second is the problem. I mean, Steve Stricker. We Nicholson's learned, a close second. Not anymore, bro. He's very okay. old. He's he's out of the sport basically. You know, uh, you got to look at the new guys. And as far as the new guys coming up, there's no one. Sergio. That, nah, even he's been kind of a bust. He was supposed to be a he lot can't better. Can't win nothing. He was a, supposed to be a lot better than he is. Steve Stricker, we learned yesterday, is uh, the number two golfer in the world. I should have known that too. But he's a distant second. He can't hold this sport up uh, by his bootstraps like Tiger does. <laughs> But we're going to get the fucking uh, press conference at 11. Me and Ant were joking where you said we're, we're going to hear. 11 Eastern? Yeah, we're going to hear, I'm sorry. We're going to hear, an, uh, I apologize. Mm -hmm. We're going to hear a, I take full responsibility. And what was the last one you threw the in? The last one is, um, uh, we now would like to um, ask the press for privacy so we can deal with this. And uh, heal. And heal. Which, Our family needs to heal. So we, if you could give us the courtesy of. Of privacy, we would yeah, shut the all that fuck. horse shit that you hear every time, and and he doesn't owe any of us any of that shit. If he owes his wife an apology and his friends an apology, yeah, he's fine. he's done that by now behind closed doors. And right? I know that exactly. that big check with sorry, honey, on the memo Ooh, part. Oh. <laughs> the memo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm honey. sorry. Love Tiger on the memo part. Hey man, she <laughs> she uh, was photographed yesterday with her with her Nike gear on, so that was uh, saying something. People are saying no rings. That's though. why. I love my mother and my girl because they they don't have the same like morals that the mother from Scarface has. <laughs> if right. I make my mother mad or my if I think if I cheat on my bitch, I could buy her out for a good meal. The morals that Scarface's mother. <laughs> when she says, "I do not want your Sorry. money. I do not want you here." He goes, "Here's thousand dollars, here. mama." It's like my mother would say, "You shouldn't do this." If I gave my mother ten thousand dollars of drug money and put in her bra. Everything will be Everything's fucking good, right? fine, man. Mama, your son is a big success. <laughs> I love when he sits there. He sits back like, nah, I'm a big success. And she's like fucking so pissed at him. Who'd you kill for this, uh, Antonio? I didn't kill nobody. I think you're fucking right, man. <laughs> your son anyway. is a big success. And he sits back waiting to get hugs and kisses from his mother. <laughs> but that big fucking Angela Davis Afro sister comes over. <laughs> a big sorry. So his uh, his wife is 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 paid for fine and dandy. Uh, and a lot of these rich dudes, the men, they cheat. It's a it's a cheating cult. They the, the women that muscle their way up to that level mm -hmm. that have an understanding like that. It's basically don't get caught. Don't yeah, make yeah. me look like a dick. Let him in. Happen yep. to let him. The fucking ultimate that I don't understand how Tiger again talking about race, how to beat who's it. I don't understand how Tiger beats the governor of South Carolina who abandoned the state for some side pussy. <laughs> he didn't abandon that's a his big, wife. That's a bigger story, don't you think? <laughs> like it's he should be still number oh, one yeah. on the charts. Oh, we're yeah. just, we're just the president of the United States got his dick sucked. Got his dick sucked. Elliot Spitzer fucking went to hookers. What? what? Fucking. Whoa, 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 fucking what? Mc, McGreevy was sucking dick at truck stops. <laughs> oh I mean, but God. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. Is the poster child. It's, it's yeah. disgusting. David Letterman has a. He had a. He had yeah. a, a vault <laughs> in the back of his thing built to, to get his room. dick sucked. Like one of the things where you pull down three books <laughs> yeah. and, the and the candle. Book, <laughs> yeah, the bookshelf turns around and the bed. statue's <laughs> head press the red button. Right. <laughs> God bless Letterman, man. Are Fucking you serious? Uh, it leads to, remember <laughs> yesterday we were talking about that, uh, The Insider? Well, oh, they had yeah. Jerry Springer on talking about the Tiger Woods thing, and it's the same shit. These they're talking about how Tiger owes us owes us this and that, and Jerry actually is like he don't owe us shit. Jerry. And then they went after Jerry Springer. So it's a quick clip I want to play for everybody today. Do you think Elon should stand by Tiger's side at the press conference? Absolutely not. You know what? For the past three months since this this guy is the is is that Mario Lopez? No, no, that's the other show. He's on. Uh... <laughs> I'm Back embarrassed that I know fruit. this, but I think he's uh, on extra. Because Mario's turned into that guy, too. This is, like, this naughty, is a, naughty to, yeah. the, uh, to other guys. Oh. I'll say it every fucking time. This white guy is the guy that said...
Tiger Woods, when this all went down, owes me an apology. As a golf fan, I think he said. As a golf fan, Tiger owes me an apology. As a white man, a middle-aged white man, I was fucking embarrassed. Who cares? Traded a ball. I was so embarrassed. Yeah, traded a ball. Fucking right. ball trader. Fucking douche chills, and here he goes again. It's, it's, it's <laughs> that now, same guy. This is not like this, 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 this guy is. Right. Do you think Elon should stand by Tiger's side at the press conference? Absolutely not. You know what? For the past three months since the scandal broke, all we've seen is Elon and all the gossip magazines and everything. We need to hear from Tiger now. If she is there, not only is it going to be extremely awkward, but everyone's going to be focusing on what her reaction, what he's saying is. We need to hear from Tiger. This guy must have a clit. Yeah. He's a, he's this is like, yeah, that's fag. a vagina. He's this talking is out vagina of his shit. Fag. No, no offense to the vaginas out there, but this is vagina fag. shit. Fag. And I don't this mean that like, he fucks other men. Just, this no, is like fucking faggity. Sissy. This is gossipy gossip. It will take away from what Tiger has to say. I don't think she. No, no, she shouldn't be. Why do you even give a shit? Right. And the thing, and the thing that you go, you know about human nature. I swear, I had a show idea. Uh, we talked about it all day long as a show following people who do this, and just <laughs> for a year, just follow them and and just do a show like this. Them. Sissy went in there. Fuck the boy in his ass and left. Yeah. Why don't you tell us uh, why you went into that sex shop? You know, oh, well, well I was, I'm, I'm off of work. What we you? all have vices. Oh, There's minute. no one that's perfect. But you're calling out everybody on your show. What do you have to say to that? Like, just shove a mic in that's his great. face. I would love to see that. Oh, that, would be <laughs> good. that would really be a this great show. He owes us an apology. Absolutely not. He, She should not. I, it's like, what? I hate these gossip shows. That's, would, why, that's why I watch, just to get fucking enraged. I would never take a Wait. job where I couldn't at least give a man's point of view on something. Yeah, yeah this guy is giving a vagina point of view. Exactly. All right, it gets better with Jerry yeah. Springer. To hear from Tiger. Yes. With all due respect, it's not our business. If Thank she you. wants to be there, let her be there. None of this is our business. Does it's it their marriage. Mayhem? That is as thumbs it up. That's as easy as it gets. Yeah. That's a that is the only answer to this entire thing. Jerry Springer of all people. Good answer, although, Jerry. Right. Although we've had Jerry on the show, and he's he's a, he's a cool dude. He has a hot, douchey he, show. And yeah. he admits it though. That's yeah. why he's great. He but goes, he, he I have the worst. Right. I think he he says I I had uh, the worst. I have the worst show on TV. He says he's got he the only, worst show on TV. He goes. He it. goes. But it's been on for so many years. He goes. Right. What, you know. What am I going to do? Stop doing it. But Jerry Springer gives the most he knows. obvious and the only answer right. in general to this. None this, of your bit. And this, that, this, this topic. But watch. They they can't they can't go with that. That to to that type of show. What Jerry just said is like. <gasps> Oh, yeah. <gasps> no, everything's our business. It has to be, or we don't exist. Or, yeah, we don't have fucking we jobs. We don't exist. It's our business. Unless Lindsay Lohan's fucking pussy slips out when she's mm -hmm. coming out of a limo. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Well, here That's comes so the Larry, Jesus Christ, man. Exactly. It. Here comes the heat, though. They they can't let Jerry just oh, say no. that. Let her be there. None of this is our business. Does it it's create mayhem, though, Mr. Mayhem? Doesn't this create yeah. a circus environment? It's going to be a circus regardless if Elon is there, but I don't think Elon should be there. She should stay far away. Tyre got himself into this mess. He should get himself out. If the reports are true and they're not living in the I same house, cool it's going to be said. very confusing to the public, this appearance of reconciliation. I'm just saying it's not our business. They have a marriage. Let the, He owes an apology only to his wife. He doesn't owe an apology to us. I I never said to my kid, I want you to have a marriage just like but Tiger Woods. Well, he owes an apology to Gary, you stop it because you know. Did you hear that again? He owes an apology to me. I, it was in the background. It's just, uh, uh, why does why does Tiger Woods owe you an apology? Yeah. You, know you know have a marriage just like but Tiger Woods. He owes an apology to Gary, you stop it because you know you like the sensational and you know you nosy. I see you digging in people's business trying to get the 411. Don't oh try it. Don't God. try it, Nobody Jerry. Come to, look, I have the worst show on television. I admit it. <laughs> but no one comes on our show who doesn't want to come on and just talk about their lives. And I always mean. tell them, you're nuts if you do this. There you go. Jerry's you're way smarter than any this. of those dummies. He's trying to talk his idiots out of actually coming on his show. Right. There's no, no reason. Jerry, I'm going to come on your show, Jerry. You talk to an unreasonable person, man. That's I think... I think that's one of the circles of hell, I think. Un unreasonable <laughs> people unreasonable? are in hell. I, I really believe, I think, fraud yeah. and lack of reason. And it's yeah. just, 
you get ah, this what I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna say this, and you go, you, you just reason. so, you know, I, I'm not gonna, and you learn this, I'm not gonna be reasonable. I just mm-hmm. sitting there attacking, you just go, you. Dumb bitches are stupid. <laughs> and then that'll shock them right into like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, you what shut the, the fuck, fuck up? You? Yeah, let's go to uh, Matt in Jersey. Matt, what's up, buddy? You know, a uh, couple things real quick. When you were talking about uh, people getting bought out, don't forget the joke about Kobe with his wife was that the rock he got her was. That $4 million dollar ring, yeah, man. 24 carats because that's his number and purple because it happened on the road, right? All right. All right, well. The, uh, the apology thing reminds me of that episode of Seinfeld where George is trying to get James Spader to apologize to him. Oh, the ice cream uh, shop? <laughs> that's, that's a good one. <laughs> He's like, no. It's like, what is it with apologies, though? What is it with this thing where someone owes... It's like the Michael Vick thing. And I mm-hmm. talked about that. I love animals. Hated what he did. But he, he, the one thing he did that he doesn't owe anything... He doesn't, one, he's not sorry. He hates dogs. Right. Two, he went to jail. See, if sorry really meant something, there'd be a lot less people in jail. Oh, my God, I killed this family with my drunk driving. I'm so sorry I'll never do it again. Oh, okay. You're free to go. Don't. Yeah. yeah. Just don't do it again. Now, yeah. if you do it again, you're going to go to jail right because away. Because I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. So you, you wouldn't do it again because you were really sorry. Yes. Even the Michael Vick thing, what he did was just completely disgusting obviously to most people but even that he doesn't owe me an apology he doesn't owe an did. apology right? i don't even fucking know no, he doesn't i hate if he, do- he, if goes, he killed one of my dogs, yeah if he and killed I one of my dogs the- then i would go whoa hey but uh, why do why does michael vick owe me an apology Nothing. I, 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 if i kill 50 hookers went to jail got out and they go patrice you sorry like no like, I what love killing do? hookers. I just got caught. <laughs> I went to jail. You caught me. I'm not sorry. If I said I'm sorry, it would be insincere and fake and phony. And, spill, and bullshit, because I'm not sorry. Which is what we say all the time. Anytime you hear someone apologizing, especially for language or offending a group or something, it's bullshit. We've been forced to apologize no one can, a few no times. One, and it's... It's a, it's a low life for our careers. It's embarrassing. They don't really When they throw care. an apology in front of you and go, you better read this. And you better be sincere when you do it. No you one. You better be contrite. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Right. That's a word I shouldn't even know. Don't let him hear. He was very contrite. We we believe him to the be sorry. The last apology we did, they go and we'll be listening. That was their final words. Yeah. And we'll be listening. So, they said that to you. Yes. Yeah, oh, so yeah. You must Aunt have read the statement. Oh. <laughs> and read the statement. It was before we came back on the air. With less passion than a Stephen Singer Gold Rose right. read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Him and his stupid roses. <laughs> All right. What's we next, get it. Stephen? Yeah, really. Why don't you just start dunking children in that for Mother's Day. Why don't you dip dunk your child in gold? Why don't you dip gold? your penis into fucking twenty-four karat gold? <laughs> and how about how about a little exposure on your website? There's a little too much Howard hey, exposure he said on our your website. Names on there. Yeah, but We're on there. people see. People have have been <laughs> tweeting me about it. Well, it's how. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Tiger Woods and his apologies. Okay, let me. Uh, it's let, a, like a countdown to Tiger's apology on the news. Let's say hi to Ian Halperin. The world we're in. Ian. Hey, oh. good Friday. Good Friday. Open uh, good, fr- good, good Friday, Ian. This is a good spot for you, man. We're talking about Tiger Woods, the big press conferences <laughs> at eleven. What are you hearing? Uh, I don't know what's going to go on there. I'll tell you one thing about Tiger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Isn't it, isn't it your job to know what's going on? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm undercover here. I've been flying around. The, you know, I, I'm in a whirlwind here. I'm dizzy. <laughs> cover. I wish it was the cover of a coffin. Re- 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 Reggie Bush is on my mind this morning because... Uh, Reggie oh Bush? We're all talking about Tiger Woods. No, he sees You better have something on Tiger ahead. or you're going to be fucking hung up on, Ian's sir. ten steps ahead of everybody. Is He's he? on to somebody else already. I'm sorry. Yes, Ian. I apologize. Uh, uh, Bush is going in front of the end. NCAA committee today, and uh, I'll tell you one thing, I think he's going to have to hide that Heisman up Kardashian's ass, because he's going to be dethroned of that. He was uh, being paid illegally, all kinds of uh, illegal <laughs> things were going on. And OJ you know, still has his. Take this Heisman away from him. <laughs> oh, OJ, <laughs> even OJ, OJ has his Heisman. He just fucked you up. They're not going to oh, take his fucking Heisman fuck trophy. Oh, knockout punch by Patrice they, O'Neal. Yeah, they, OJ. If they didn't take OJ's Heisman, then there's not a chance They're anyone else would get their Heisman. Heisman taken Heisman away. Trophy. Come on, Ian. No, no, Google it. Google and plus, it, Google it's Google. not his fault. It's the university's fault. They're going to blame the university. He's going to get judged. He's a professional athlete now, and he's done with college, and he's going to keep his trophy. Then no one's going to take it. And do what? Say there's no winner for his year? Yeah. And it's That's not going to happen. 
It doesn't go well with the NCAA when you're banging a white chick, and that's what's... Uh, Whoa! That. Hey, man, that's a very honest they thing. Taking, they are taking that trophy away. I mean, they're going to have to seriously get the people to exhume it from uh, Kardashian's butt. That's where he has it, and uh, that trophy, is, it, 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 he's going to be dethroned. I'm telling you right now. Well, that's big so, news. So the night, the 2000, and what is it, six? Yeah, six, five. five what are they going to do? They're going to give it to the other guy? He gets it now, and he's going to take it and go, hey, I rightfully... He, it's not like he took performance-enhancing drugs. He fucking took money. <laughs> so what, does that make him run better because he took money from a fucking, yeah. <laughs> like a booster? He was the same guy. Whether he was didn't take money or not, he won it. He performed. Fair and fucking square. He, they're not going to take his... They, it's unprecedented. They can't take it. Yeah, they're taking it, dude. They're taking it. Uh, you, you, mark my words. It, man, I'm telling you. Like, <laughs> Good, right. Right. mark my words. All right. And, and he's, 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 he's going to walk, man. He's going he's gonna to be dethroned. They're, they're, they have to set a precedent. They're going to make him a scapegoat. Look, if it was a white guy, this would never happen. The fact that it's Reggie Bush, he's banging a white chick. They, they, you know. by, by, by the way, I banged a Kardashian girl once. Uh, Google it. Uh, you, you banged her? No, 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 no you no, did. No, you did. You did. I swear. Right, yeah, I didn't bang her. Did I saw it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't bang her. I was sitting next to her mom the other night at the Boa restaurant oh, in yeah? uh, Beverly Hills. And I'll, 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 I'll say this, man. She looks like crap, that mom. Like, she, she's had more surgery than Michael Jackson, I think, uh, tenfold. That uh, woman, uh, her, right, her face seemed to be falling Ian, down. Ian, I'm going to give you a scoop. I, uh, they're saying now that... Uh, Michael Jordan will be at this press conference with Tiger Woods today. What do you got? What? Well, they're, they're taking <laughs> bets on what he's going to say. <laughs> if you want Michael Jordan, I mean, I, I think he might have uh, had a, a, some side pussy over the years. I, I don't know for sure. Oh, yeah, but... he lost his wife. He yeah, lost okay. his marriage. Yeah. Is it a fit? Yeah, all right. So why would he be at the press conference with Tiger Woods? But that's the big rumor right what, now. What, Tiger's uh, like the flying nun compared to uh, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was banging everything in sight during his NBA career. So this is the only I know, I told you to train with them. And, you know, after the press conference, they're going to head down to the local strip bar and uh, spend, you know, what we make in about a day. They'll be oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Hey, that'd be great to so you, see. So yeah. you, uh, you dine next to Kris Jenner on Valentine's Day, and, and you want to explain the fascination with this family, the Kardashians. Yeah, I mean, look, she's alone. Valentine's, I think her hubby, Bruce Jenner, was playing in the Pro-Am every year, so she's with some hot chick. Uh, her face looks like it's falling off. Uh, I sneezed, by the way, almost on her. And uh, why, why are we so obsessed with these chicks? They're they're all banging black dudes. Uh, <laughs> the, the mom, she looks about, I'd say in person, about 93. And the Bruce Jenner man, look, he only got it up in Montreal, my hometown, in, in 76. What has he done since? Well, well, he didn't need to do anything else. He won a, he won a lot of fucking medals. I just think this is Robert Kardashian's hell, is what it is, for, for getting O.J. off the hook for murder. His hell is now to, to, to spend eternity looking at his Watch daughters his daughter. having sex with big black men. <laughs> I mean, high-level balls. Yes. Oh, yeah. Just taking it balls deep. Six-foot-eleven digs. Oh, yeah. Mashing, mashing those tender white women. Oh, God. yeah. Just, just mashing the inside. God bless reparations. That's it. Robert Kardashian's just in fucking, like, purgatory somewhere going, what? What is it? I got to watch this? Uh, 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 Ian, this just in. Jordan's gonna, Jordan's going to be announced as one of Tiger's uh, last mistresses. Oh, oh there that, you go. Yes, yeah, so that's going to be... Uh, yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Uh, yeah, hey, listen, they had had sex. speaking Google, of Google. gay, you say there's a big fucking uh, gay sex scandal happening with the Olympics. Uh oh Yeah, yeah really. Uh, one of my sources, he's at the Olympics right now. and he says, Think he's one of the ice skaters? Uh, <laughs> the figure so, skaters? Because I, I wouldn't believe it. It wouldn't be. It's got to be a sport where you would never think, right, Ian? No, incredibly, it's two hockey players, one from the U.S. team and one from Belarus. They were caught making out in the Olympic Village two or three nights ago, <laughs> and uh, you know that nah, was a dare. Them. Yeah, come on, probably some dumb fucking. Hey, that's to prove how tough you are in some <laughs> yeah, shitty right? country, right? So. You
you know, what, what's going on there, man? There's a lot of uh, hanky-panky. It seems all of these athletes, they're shagging each other in that village. My source, who's uh, been covering it for European magazine, he says it's uh, a lot of sex is going on in that village. Now, uh, of course there's a lot of sex on. going on in that village. Hey, Ian, can, the Olympics. I, can I go back now? When you were um, talking to us about the Super Bowl, yep. didn't you also say a lot of sex was going on with the press and everybody yep. at the Super Bowl? Uh, yes. Uh, in, in Miami, was it? Is it safe to say that there's a lot of sex uh, going on everywhere? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> apparently well, everywhere, Ian. Well, uh, look, we're not going to deny it. Look at Tiger, man. He spent more time, you know, shagging than golfing. And this Are you married, brother? Uh, am I married? Yes, sir. Well, are you interested? What, 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 what's it to you, man? I'm undercover. Uh, he's on, I'm he's undercover. undercover right now. Oh, he's an undercover guy? He's no, an undercover no, guy. Who, who he's not. Who says he plays the saxophone, but we know it's bullshit. He's an undercover guy that wears giant fucking sparkly glasses. He looks like uh, Andrew Dice Clay a little bit. Like, why would you wear those yeah. if you're undercover? Ian, when are we going to hear you play that saxophone you keep talking well, I gotta about? i got to come into that your studio and uh, bring in my band. It's called the His Highness Band. Yeah, and uh, we got to give you guys a, a concert with my dancers, and uh, have, have a rock. How, and how about you play this? I, I heard a bit of that. We are the world. You know. Oh, oh wow! All you right, well, get him involved. We, yeah. How, how about you like play the saxophone for us right now over the phone? I don't have any uh, horns here, man. You know, I, I'm 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 in transit right now. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> you Just know, talking uh, to your sources every day, and I would love to. Yeah. What What do you got on Barbara Walters? Well, here's the question that I have for you guys. Uh, she's announced it's her last Oscar special. Yes. And uh, rumor is Diane Sawyer, Queen Latifah, Samantha Harris, who I actually like a lot, and she's, she just announced she's off Dancing with the Stars. They've been shortlisted to take over. Who do you guys think should take over? I, you know, I, I'm not sure I'm convinced any of the above I, the bill. I, 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 Beyonce's father. <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, Ernest Borgnine. That out. That's a good one. Ernest Borgnine. He's a fucking interesting in guy, Ernest. He's still alive. The answer would be, Jesus. who gives a <laughs> shit? Right. <laughs> that is the correct answer. When I heard her announce <laughs> that she wasn't going to do any more Oscar night interviews, yeah. it was the biggest who gives a shit moment I've ever heard. Who gives a oh, shit? Besides Walter Cronkite's ghost. Yeah, fuck yeah. it. He cares. Who oh, gives a shit? That show goes on without Barbara Walters. Who cares? It'll, it probably will be better without and her. And now back to the Barbara Walters interviews. Wow. Oh, wow. Is she going to make the person cry? Is she going to ask a weird question like, if you were a tree? If you were a twee. Hey, who gives a but, shit? You know, D Diane Sawyer, she'll probably get the gig. And I think it's a bad choice. She bores me to tears. And mm, got something I, I think common about Sawyer. I, I think her time should have been up about six years ago. And mm, the fact that again, she's uh, doing the something news common right except now, I think three minutes. Totally the wrong direction with her. All right. Well, um, and and finally, I guess you you had a date with a Pantene cover girl. What? Yeah, man. Well, you know that agency Kelleher International. I I, I went undercover with them, and uh, they <laughs> they hooked me up with uh, the date of my life. It was a Pantene cover girl um, from the UK. Who? Uh, what was her name again? Punch Jeez. her up. Uh, man, I, I I could YouTube her the clip it's of her. Emma, it's Emma something. Her name was Katie Mil Millerbrook or something like that. All right, we better find this or you're in yeah, deep she shit. Was so hot, so intelligent. It was the uh, it was a home run date. It was the first time in ten years I've gone on a date, and you know the woman wasn't trying to suck my dick after ten minutes. So well, what's and that's what oh, so a problem that didn't work. Well, you know it's quality, man. This you know usually. For some reason, I've been used to McDonald's. This was uh, this was prime rip. Are we looking at her now, Danny? No, we can't so find he, her. Ian was, can't find he her. was he happy to be sitting there, right. not getting his dick sucked, right. because you were having a great moment with Boy. this Pantene model. Boy, you're a real Our man, girl. Ian. Yeah, you, you know, <laughs> quality, man. I, I felt Ian so good. We, we talked about Halperin everything. is so poetry. full of shit. He's lying. You are so full of. Is that her? <laughs> this girl. Yeah, like, not, and you're happy she wasn't sucking your dick. What's wrong with you? Stop it. Well, hey, man. You, you sure you weren't in the Olympic way. Village with, with that athlete from Belarus? Wow. She's pretty. The only reason 
Oh, she okay. wouldn't be sucking my dick if I was out with her. It would be because I was eating her ass and she couldn't get to my dick. Yeah, why didn't you eat her ass, Ian? Well, you know, you got to be a gentleman the first 20 minutes. <laughs> that is a gentleman. That is a gentleman. Uh, let me say hi to Mark in Florida. Mark, we're on with Ian Halpern, who, who knows, uh, well, nothing. But we love having him on the He's show. He's an enigma. Yeah. Mark. Good, good morning, b -b 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 boy. Hey. Hi. Hey, I uh, just wanted to ask Perez Hill, I mean, uh, Ian, <laughs> how, how the hell can the NCAA take away a private award awarded by the Downtown Athletic Club that has nothing to do with the in, in, NCAA? Oh, Ian, comment, oh, comment, right. yeah, Ian, comment. Scenario. Great insight there. Well, he's got gotcha. you. Oh, damn. Look, from what I know, he's going before the the, the board today. You know it's over when you start with. From what I know, <laughs> right, I mean, right, he right. fucking he he got off his pulpit. From what I understand, he's not taking it. He's not taking it. Yeah, and he might have got you right I there. Think I think he got you there. Well, what I'm looking think? at this girl. I'm freaking out. Let's see the end result again. I predict he will lose the trophy. Uh, Ian, it's like the Hall of Fame's a private. The Hall of Fame's are fucking. Yeah. Let's go to Jason in Virginia. Private. Ian, uh, where did first of all? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Ian, yeah, yeah, where did you yeah, go yeah. with this girl? Uh, we went to Yamashiro. It's a Japanese restaurant in the Hollywood Hills. And, and what did you do? Kind of walk me through the, the date uh, uh, well, you know, it was a blind quickly. Date. I showed up. I had no idea what to expect. And then this beautiful woman shows up. And uh, I said, wow, this is uh, awesome with a British accent. And uh, we enter the restaurant. We get a, a good table with a view of uh, all of Hollywood. It's it's really high up this restaurant. And uh, and just, you know, talked for about three, four hours. We were the last people to leave. And, you you uh, talked to her for three hours? And yeah. So you woke her up and then you left? Yeah, well, she drove me, she drove me back to my pad and that was it. And that was it? You didn't, yeah. did you invite her in? No. Yeah? Why didn't you invite her in? Say, hey, want to come into my pad, you know, talk about, you know, maybe a drink or something? Well, you know, I, I felt it was just too uh, early. Too I mean, early? She's, what do you think? You getting a second date with this fucking girl? Yeah, absolutely, man. Oh, you are? I already informed Keller International I want one more. And what did it cost? Um, what did that cost? Actually, the, the dinner was about... Four fifty. No, I mean, and, like, did you have to pay an agency or her or anything? No, no. I because I went undercover. Right. I told them if I if I'm satisfied, uh, I'll I'll gladly pay up at the end. So I was able to. They do fronted that. you a model. Yes, they did. <laughs> I again will say Ian Halpern is full of shit. Why would you say because that? Because they're not fronting him a Pantene model that I'm looking at here and is fucking drop dead gorgeous. Oh, yeah? Well, hey. You're probably the same guy saying I'm full of shit when I went into the Church of Scientology and got them to sign on the dotted line. That's right, Anthony. Let's not forget yeah. about that. Well, I love Anthony. Yeah. It, what? You know, Anthony loves my leftovers, so I love the guy. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why are you holding that over his head? Leftovers? <laughs> Every Everyone's a leftover, my friend. Everyone's a leftover, unless you're fucking a virgin. Hey, Your little you. Pantene model was a leftover. She sucked someone else's oh, dick Anthony, and not Anthony, yours. Anthony, she sucked I'm someone else's added, dick and not yours. I'm glad you added that little footnote of because I didn't get that, quite frankly, yeah. until you added virgin. Yeah. And that's a, actually a profound statement. Everyone's a leftover. Let's. Uh, did we say hi to Jason in Virginia? Jason, did you get to talk? No, not yet. All right, you're on with Ian Halperin. Yeah, this guy sounds like the Kaiser Soze of bullshit. He's just sitting in his hotel room. He saw a Pantene bottle. <laughs> yeah, like Kaiser Soze, he just looks at looks around, around the room. The room. <laughs> Goes, I could talk about a uh, Pantene yeah. bottle. International is yeah. the makes the towels. Like Holy shit. That was great. She worked yeah. at a milled soap factory. You know, you're the type of guy, when I'm talking about all this, you're jacking off, and you're probably thinking of me and her with you, and that ain't going to happen anytime soon. Yeah, you know, uh, I, 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 I remember she worked for the Kobayashi Porcelain uh, Company. It was a <laughs> Kobayashi. Wait, John in Alabama. John, go ahead. You're on with Ian Alford. Hey, boys. Who are you hiding from, Ian? Who are you going undercover from? I don't know who the fuck you are. 
<laughs> well, dude, you know, hey. I think, let me explain. I think what John is saying is you're not famous enough to be undercover. You could just be Ian. Right, you could just be you. You could just be you. And, uh, that, was, that works for exactly. me. Yeah, let, let me Thanks, tell you boy. something. You're welcome, John. I just want to make sure Ian understood your uh, point. Oh, uh, yeah, no, yeah. No, I was with two please. chicks that night. The Pantene okay, girl so and well. another girl. Her name so is um, Mini Bar. Mini Bar. I was with... Uh, <sighs> Ian, why don't you fucking stick up for yourself? Jesus, what's wrong with you? I love you guys. I'm man. undercover. Are you losing your balls? Hey, Let's go. Shabbos is coming up in a few hours here, so you know I'm not. I'm not going to argue with you. I, oh, I got gotcha. you, know, Anthony. Yeah. Man, look, I'm going to take Anthony. I'm going to pay his ticket up to Canada and uh, give him the grand tour. I'd love and, to. And I'd he'll love to. His opinion of me. I'd love to. What part of Canada? Uh, Montreal, about two hours north. It's oh, north okay. Of the and how are you able to go on uh, dates with, like, uh, Pantene models if you're married? Uh, no, I'm not married. Oh, I think, you, know, I'm I not think like, you might have uh, said you were married on no. this show. No, 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 no. Not no. married. You know, just a uh, happy-go-lucky Canadian and uh, dating Pantene models. And I saw so sick. All right. <laughs> All right, Ian. Anything, <laughs> anything else, Ian, that we didn't cover? Uh, I, I think we're just about done. Yeah. I, I wanted to let you guys also know Heather Mills. Apparently, she's plowed through fifty-four point five million bucks in twenty-two months from Sir Paul, and uh, I, I, I just have no idea where where she put all this dough. But that's that's quite a bit of uh, loot to get rid of so quickly. Wow! How is there no way to find out? You know what she spent there. You ought to go undercover as her leg. Yeah, uh, uh, that, you know what. Uh, let me ask you a question. Would you shag Heather Mills without that leg on? No, yeah, why not? Yeah. Would you eat her out without that leg? <laughs> it might get a little sweaty, but why not? I don't know. I, I wouldn't take uh, Sir uh, Paul's would you lick the seconds. The uh, uh, uh. Leg? Would I what? Would you lick the prosthetic leg? Yeah, that's easy. Oh. No. It's disgusting. Uh, uh, I, I think Mills needs Anthony in the in the hay. That that could turn the well. Yeah, thank you, ready. thank you, Ian. All right, we <laughs> lost Patrice. Ian, <laughs> thank you so much, sir. Yes, we appreciate okay. your phone Always call. Always a pleasure, Ian. On the Opie and Anthony show, the greatest radio show in uh, New York City, and uh, peace out, everyone. Have a great weekend. All right, Ian thank Halper, you. Uh, go to I. Oh no, Ian Undercover dot com. Yes. He's even got the website Ian Undercover dot com. Undercover dot com. Right, Ian. Yeah, it, that's it. And uh, a lot of people from your show have been saying hi, and I, I appreciate it. And I'll tell you one thing: Kardashian and Bush, they're toast to one more year. That's it. After after he loses this Heisman, it's all over. That chick, man, uh, she's just. I think it's awful. Have you ever met her? Uh, no, I bet she refuses bet to do our have. show. Dude, I've seen these posters of her all over the place in L.A. It looks more airbrushed than anything I've ever seen. Ian, let me tell you what I just did for you. Yes. It's Follow Friday on Twitter. I am now following Ian <coughs> Undercover on Twitter. All right. Well, hey, check it up. And That's what I do. Up. I'm going to do a post on you guys. That's what I do for you right now. Look at this. I hit follow. You're in. All right. Hey, thanks, bro. All right. Get the peace, fuck peace out. Out, of, out of here now yeah. or whatever. All right. Ian Halpern, everyone. All right. We'll, uh, we'll take Holy a break. Shit. That fucking guy. Oh, Duke, uh, who are you hearing is going to show oh, up? Is oh. Elon going to be there? Oh, oh. You know, that's that's the million-dollar question. Uh, there's some reports that it? she will not be here. Other reports say she will be here. Uh, if I was a betting man, I, I would say that his mom is definitely going to be here. We're also what hearing Michael Jordan is going to be here. Now, that makes a lot of sense on a couple different levels. Tiger right. and Michael are friends. Uh -huh. um, and uh, not only that, uh, you know, they represent that Nike brand. And Phil Knight, the CEO of uh, Nike, came out and he said, hey, look, this too shall pass and Tiger is going to be big. I mean, Tiger after Michael Jordan left Nike is really Nike when you think about it. The three big names on Nike are, are Tiger Woods, uh, Michael Jordan, and Derek Jeter with uh, Jordan Can and you Tiger believe being this? the biggest. But we're hearing uh, you know, Michael may be here and uh, really that may be the only athlete in the world more famous than Tiger Woods if that's at all possible. Yeah. Uh, especially after this event. And, Shut uh, up! So we're also hearing it's going to be five that to seven minutes. The plane into a building it may go taxes. 12 minutes. Uh, once again, uh, there is is a, uh, it's Ian a Halpern just talked to no us. No questions will be asked. The Very interesting. The of America have decided to boycott this. Uh, they have three seats. 
uh, available at this press conference. They decided because you can't ask questions, Will uh, they're not going to be on hand. Wait, It'll who? be a very controlled environment. One camera. What? Only one camera one is going to be there. It's a pool camera. And it's going to be What's interesting uh, Anthony to see show? how controlled that camera is. Will there be cutaways if Elon is there? Oh, my God. Uh, of Holy Will shit. There? This if is Elon the is there, is she next to him? Um, I imagine if, if Michael Jordan's in the crowd, we're also going to see the camera pan to him as well. So this is going to be... We're, we're, people are going to study this this case, uh, crisis management people, public relations people, uh, in, in colleges for years and years to come. Years this was controlled and, and years and, and to come. It's going to be a very, it's really a historic day when you think about it. This right. guy, this is a historic day. Let, 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 let me tell you something. This guy, mm -hmm. oh yeah, sure oh, he did. He was yeah, divorced yeah. and everybody, yeah. you know, there's some This guy story. being there is so caught up in the story because he's there right. that he really thinks it's a big event. Like, they sent him down there to cover this, and he's there talking with the other reporters. There's probably a lot of, lot of uh, rumblings and hoopla and speculation. <laughs> so he gets on and goes, this is astounding. Oh, my God, the eagle has landed. Oh, man has walked on the moon. Fuck. And I, it's Tiger I just want to say that I appreciate everyone's uh, patience. Uh, 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 I uh, want to say that I, I, first of all, apologize to my beautiful wife, Edith. For anything I've done, to my kids, my I mom. Like to first of all, apologize to my children and my children. I like to apologize because this forever is going to be haunting them for the. I also uh -huh. like to apologize mm -hmm. to my friends and all of my supporters, and I just want to say that I I appreciate the job. I went and took care of my problems and my problems are there, and I will uh, make Time's a return up. to golf. And that I will. Golf has been good to me, and I like to thank Nike. I like to thank Tag Heuer. Oh yeah, he's got like to get the sponsors in. And, and I will not. I will never. This will not. And here's the mistake. Don't even say this will not happen again, nigga. Sandy Kane on fucking. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Dr. Yeah. Bonnie is always having Eaker a lot of risk taking, wheel, thrill seeking behavior. Relationship these guys she's a relationship like therapist. What does yeah. she yeah. know about what the fucking could this pig possibly well, you know, know. We've got to figure out what to do to make us have novelty, but not to do it, you know, when it's wrong. That's Thank you, point. Dr. Bonnie. Appreciate Thank it. Check so out her book, Make Up, Don't Break Up, Dr. Bonnie Eaker uh, Weil. Women website, Dr. want Bonnie, cheating yeah. to be a right, disease that can be so fucking bad. They, all the shit that we do mm -hmm. right that we do and we have to do yeah to get pussy meaning all the charm the charm all the, the shit through hoops, all the, the talking money, the, the, right. all the fucking stuff that we we say look we hate doing it but we've established an ability to do it women just won't establish an ability to make like to make us give them love with the same passion that they give us pussy. That we f <laughs> make them give, we, we, we compel them to open their legs. Yes. But they can't compel us to open our hearts. They just fucking write books, say it's a disease, say this. It's look like, look, I, I said this before, you can do an interview, right? For the most part, an interview and you go, say to a woman, do you, do you love your, your man? Yes, I do. Do you love your family? Yes, I do. Yes. Do you love your children? Yes, I do. Do you love your life? Yes, I do. Are you happy? Yes, I am. Fully happy. Will you fuck that, that supermodel over there, that Calvin Klein model? Would you risk that to fuck that gorgeous man over there? No, I will not because I'm happy with my life. Sir, are you happy with your life? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> are you happy with your family? Yes. Are you happy with everyone in your life? Yes, I am. Would you fuck that woman thrown up behind a dumpster and risk everything to fuck that girl peeing in the middle of the street? Would you risk your family? Yes. <laughs> yes, I would. Risk it all to fuck a pig in the mouth behind a dumpster. Jesus. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do love my wife. I do love my children. I don't want to lose them. But I want to fuck that. <laughs> Holy shit. It's not a disease. It just is uh, what it is. Uh, that is fucking fuck. Funny. It's a fight to not fuck other women. <laughs> Why is that so bad? It's a fight. Yeah, with those books, they'll write books. They'll put out fucking... They'll, they'll, they'll put little practices in place of therapy and everything like that, but... It's simple. Mm. It's just simple. It's... It's our one thing that keeps us being from being 
perfection. That is true. Is the constant barrage of <laughs> wanting to stick our dick in something. There's no such thing as glory holes for pussies. Women won't just stick their pussy through a hole Against and have hole. somebody do something to it. Right. There's men that'll stick their dick through a hole <laughs> just so something happens to it. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I can, <laughs> I can Do you understand? This is not the only thing. If we were, if we were faithful, yeah. do you know what would happen? Women would turn into. The I am legend monsters <laughs> running around trying to find dick because they didn't realize all the dick they were getting, they were sharing anyway. <laughs> this, it's very, look, man, this mm -hmm. shit, well, could you just, we don't have periods. Mm -hmm. We don't fucking have children. We, there's nothing to slow a man down from moving. And there's a lot of things to keep women from just moving, man. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, PMS without the bleeding makes them fucking yeah, irritable. Freaking out. It's yep. a, it's it's rough being a woman, man. There's a lot of things that we deal with, but we they're visual. If you see a baby come out your girl's pussy, you go, whoa, that's real. <laughs> you see a bitch bleeding and she's going bananas, you go, that's fucking real. But you say to a bitch, baby, I need to fuck something that ain't you. That ain't real to them. But it's real. But it's real. <laughs> but it's real. But it's real. It's fucking real. <laughs> I need to fuck something. God that's damn, that's curious. the at man's least under, period. At least understand. Yes. That's our cross to bear. I always say, I say, I'll be on stage. I go, ladies, you, you ever been with a man long oh. enough in your life, right? And you go, and, 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 and you go, this motherfucker act like he's on his period, <laughs> right? You know what a man's period is? He's being faithful. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker is not getting other pussy, so he's irritable. You gotta get on TV and show the world his perspective, because there's not a guy out there brave enough to say he's on TV. He's, he's, he's sick. I cramp up. I cry for no reason. Yep. When she says, what time is it? 7.30, bitch. Didn't I buy you a watch? What's wrong with you? I ain't fucking all the bitches, oh. Get over I'm having my fucking PMS. <laughs> fucking. They, they're killing me with this shit. Oh, shit. They don't want to understand. They don't even want to understand, man, mm -hmm. it, what it is. And I'm not saying every guy, first of all, fuck that. F cheating, right? Fuck, fuck the, ch the actual cheating. Yeah. Women don't even want to discuss the feeling of wanting to cheat with us. Like the, the draw to cheating. And I say, look, what is cheating? Cheating is a man that sneaks out of his house to go to find some, like, semblance of happiness behind his woman's back so he doesn't hurt her feelings. <laughs> Jesus. Cheating is for them. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. How do you fucking... How can it's not for me. That That's around. a hell of a spin job. I don't want to run what? around in the streets risking my family. Because then you just fucking invite the, the girl over to your house and fuck her in front of I your, your girl. I want to do it while you're there, sweetie, so I can get that evil out. Because that would hurt her. It would hurt so, her feelings. So the cheating part is actually Jesus, helping... Jesus. It's for them. Where you it's, it's out of kindness. Where you yes, your... you know how much empathy I have for you for sneaking out to oh. fuck another one. Holy shit. Where are you at with your book? <laughs> Whoa. You writing the book? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Is that a good one? Oh, yeah. It's a really good one, man. Mm. Don't forget who told I'm, me I'm about letting everybody. Idea. I'm letting everybody fucking... Right. I'm letting everybody fucking write their goddamn books. What chapter is this? Oh shit! Did we? Did you just give a chapter away? It might have. Oh. It don't matter. It's so it much. Plenty. It's just all Dude, I gotta do is do enough analogies. Plenty. <laughs> I've been telling you for years. Your relationship book will be massively huge. Massively huge. All right. We should I take... hate when I turn and think that fucking intern's a chick. That annoys the piss out of me. What Johnny Weir? Y yeah. Johnny Weir was just in studio, but I was looking at something, and then I looked up to you know make eye contact with patrice and he was walking out of the studio and i'm like who's this bitch oh it's fucking yeah, our, look, it's, and it, he's a fag a little guy no he says but he not. says no the, no man hold on man. I he know. says he's not, no man, man waves at other men like this. like that no. never he's gay he says he's never. not never fucking gay and it, look, he what's he got a fucking it's not gonna ruin it it's, fashion. it's not gonna ruin your career if you admit you're gay it's gonna help your career man it's nothing but gay guys and women who run the world that's right true now. 
I, I, got, I got a girl. I thought, she doesn't know you're gay? <laughs> <laughs> you wave like this. Yeah, that was a, that was a rough one. That's gay. Way. Never even tried out another guy. No, Ever. No, no, never. Oh, my God, no? Not once. Really? <laughs> this, this fucking sweet ass. If I fucked you, that wouldn't make me gay. <laughs> That's how much of a girl you are. <laughs> <laughs> and no offense, um, man. You're just you're just sweet as as can be. You, what what is it about me that you fuck the shit out of your woman? Yes, you. She can vouch. She can vouch. We can't get her on the phone though. No, we, we can never get her, get her on the phone. phone. You fuck she her like somewhere she far away. In. She or... could come in and. She can come in. We would love yeah. to have her on the show. We you would fuck be... the shit out of your girl. It, absolutely, every day, every it, night. If you put your, if you brought your girl in, we'd be very respectful. Yeah. We we got to yeah. get her on the show. Her name we is Jane to. Gum. If you can <laughs> sing, talks. you're the American Idol winner right now. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to get your singing lessons. Mm. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> you 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 watch you watch some gay porn all day just to see if you was gay. Uh, yeah, back because you have questions about yourself a little bit. Well, he no, doesn't understand no. why everyone's saying this. You don't feel like you're a little effeminate, and this, believe I'm, me, absolutely, I'm effeminate. My 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 mother raised me like primarily. Oh. So. My that's mother raised me, and my, and that's yeah. that's why I'm brutally trying to hang on to manhood. <laughs> she beat me with pipes every day. <laughs> and what did your mother do? Breastfeed you till you were sixteen? No, she was just. I mean, I. I find a lot of my qualities are a lot like hers. Oh yeah. Oh, so like, you have a lot I'm in common with a girl. I'm gonna fuck him later, man. This is just it's simple. Yeah, it if you want right. to, if you want to oh, call me gay, gay, you can. All right. Well, Lynn in Atlanta wants in on this, Lynn, because that's a whole another hour. This kid. We'll have to do. <laughs> we'll do an hour on him. But we got Laszlo standing by too. Lynn, what's up? Laszlo. Hey, I wanted to holler at Patrice. For, I, I need him to come to my house and explain to my wife what he just explained on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can understand it. Let, let, let me tell you real quick, like, 17 years of marriage, faithful the whole time, okay? Move in across the street with a neighbor, good, had to nail it, ended up nailing it. My wife has been asking me why for a year. I couldn't explain it. Uh, but Patrice, you just put in words. <laughs> well, that's why the that's why Patrice is writing the book that a lot of people are gonna end up loving. And <laughs> he's amazing. Hey, I, I I gotta just point out that there's breaking news. You know, you you wonder if if the media is in on this whole thing as far as distracting the um, the yeah. the, the populace from the real issues out there in Atlanta. I think it was Atlanta. Atlanta, yeah. Uh, there's a zebra that's loose. A zebra's loose Almost in Atlanta. Almost on cue, like, well, what's, uh, what's up with this guy, like, crashing into the IRS building? Next oh, thing you know, there's God. a zebra loose. Look out, Mark. To distract us. There's a zebra loose in Atlanta. Oh, my God. And it's uh, running down the side of the highway right now. <laughs> it's just kind of strange how those distractions pop up at the, yeah. at the perfect opportunity. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know. Seems like, <laughs> can I just reiterate? A guy crashed his plane into the IRS. Who cares about that? They got footage of a zebra. Yeah. Pissed off at at the tax system well, in this country. Well, when, when do you get to see a zebra running alongside the cars? But, well, as long as we get to hear DJ whatever uh, on Channel Five <laughs> news, because that's news. Yeah. It's just we all need a job. You know, we, we would need like some, we need a job. Man. We'd, we'd like to, to discuss, support our family. We would like to discuss the reasoning behind the man's um, anger at the IRS. <gasps> but we got DJ whatever. First of all. Can I please defend you right now? Yes. His name is DJ Whatever. And it's spelled E V V A. W H U T E V V A. I'm people, DJ Whatever, motherfucker. People <laughs> would think we're just trying to pretend. Say, no, no. It's, more news <laughs> it's really DJ, DJ Whatever <laughs> on Channel 5 right now. He's really DJ Which, by the way, <laughs> is. <laughs> what do you, uh, yeah, uh, what do you, what do you want to hear? Whatever. 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 What do you play tonight? Whatever. Whatever. Which is actually a pretty good DJ. DJ whatever is actually DJ whatever. pretty good. DJ whatever is pretty whatever. good, man. Motherfucker. All right, we're going to take a break. We're going to get Laszlo on the show next. La Another busy show, Patrice O'Neill. And now Laszlo. Laz. We are uh, talking about gaming, man. I mean, Laszlo just handing out games. I blew my big opportunity with Laszlo. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. You did. 
I'm such a loser. I'm happy you gave me this game, too, man, what because happened? I was, oh, I was Jesus trying to Jesus Christ, I'm in the middle of fucking apologizing to Laszlo, man, and look, you jump in with your shit. Man, fucking Alzheimer's is taking up too That's much time, nigga. Alzheimer's. I, I actually when... said something that you had the Alzheimer's because you didn't even realize they talked. Oh, okay. That's, that's I remember that's Holy point. shit. That's true. That's okay. Okay. And actually... I already said I'm, I'm really tired today. I'm having a bad show, and I apologize to everybody. You don't have to apologize to me, sweetie. Uh, Laszlo, no, Laszlo wanted me to do a part in his game. I'll be honest. With you. I thought, oh, here's Laszlo just being nice, and I got to yell and scream again for one of his fucking games. But he goes, no, it's actually a pretty good part. Get, and we went back and forth, back and forth, and then I blew my opportunity. I was ready to finally perform. And he's like, dude, uh... dude, I handed everything in weeks ago. What was uh, I supposed to be a sheriff or something? He was going to be a sheriff in Red Dead, but we had to we locked Damn. it when locked is it that down. Out? April twenty seventh. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for that. And I said last week, I'm ready now, last right. week. Like, ready? I'm ready. The fucking game went to press. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm exactly. exactly. play Call of Suarez behind uh, uh, that. No, we don't speak of other Western games. There's only one. Yeah, what's wrong? Exactly. With You're pissing everybody off There's now. only what's one. What's wrong with you? It's like during the middle yeah. of your plug for comics, we, we just say, start plugging some other comic. Huh. True that, but I was actually, that's a, I was that's actually like saying fuck about that because I'm waiting for their game. Exactly. So it's Red like Dem I had to, Dem I just had to fucking, I have to wait, is what I'm saying, because for the, yeah, you know, that's, like, that's like us, that's like us, <laughs> that's like us all. Yeah, me mumbling, nigga. Right. I played Call of Suarez, but I'm waiting for this. One. But that's like us <laughs> inviting the other big black dude that gets all the roles you should be getting in movies <laughs> into oh, our damn. studio right now. That's, that's, but see the intentions <laughs> of you doing that. If you did it. Which I is, wouldn't give a fuck if you did which, it with intentions. Which, by like, the way, fuck it. To, which, to by the way, insults. Which pisses me off. He's What's getting that? all the roles you should be getting. Who's this? It's I don't fucking know his goddamn Some name. Some fat guy. He's probably a nice kid. You know the <laughs> That's guy. That's all it takes. I think probably he was in the office. Is He's a nice, nice kid. He goes in. He goes high to people. Well, yeah. He doesn't go in and but you should be getting all those a boogie with, with one nostril and holding the other. One. Who, who, like, who am I talking? <laughs> Wasn't he in the office with you? And now he gets all those roles. Yeah. And I go oh, every time uh, I see him, I'm like, that's that should be Patrice. His, uh, that's uh, oh my god, that's uh, I forgot his fucking name. He was in uh, Zach and Miri make a porno. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh shit, so you funny got me. comic. He's a funny Craig, guy too. Uh, Craig Robinson. Craig Robinson. And you know that we we don't have him on the show because it, it bothers me. Why? Because I think you yeah, should be Craig getting those roles. Show. He's a nice guy. I know he's a nice guy, but he's doing. It's he, not his fault. But that's that's your that's your gig. He's doing your gig. Listen, Chris Rock told you why. He told you <laughs> yeah, I funny. should have the role as the father on the show. <laughs> yeah. And then he told you why I don't. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's even if I go he in to your face with too. sort of not. It, it, if if you're not going high and happy, it's it's. I understand. Mm, all right, I let's, understand. I do understand. Let's not take up Laszlo's time. So what are we talking about today, Laszlo? There's a lot of uh, things going on there. There really is. I, I was looking at his uh, sheet. I'm, I'm dizzy with all this info. Yeah, it was, Just uh, don't fucking quiz me after your appearance. You know, I haven't done... Uh, the Technofile officially shut down in 2007, but uh, yeah. I still pop but by. Why it. are you shutting it down? Why did you shut it down? Because too busy. There's more money to be made in video games and radio these days, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. That's for sure. <laughs> I got tired of getting thrown off of CBS stations for being good. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> yeah, for being too good. You're performing too well. Please right. leave. You're out of here. Unbelievable. Because it's a great show you, you used to do. Yeah, it was good. The tech file was for, great. Ran for 12 years. It, so. it should still be going, Laszlo. What are you doing? Maybe go, you should do it for the fun of it. Fun? No? But the, the thing of it is, is, I do radio for video games. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you do the radio shows Plus, on the video games. Cartoons. Yeah. We're producing yeah. full, full-blown cartoons. And I don't know. I, I kind of like, I have to say, I, I still, I dig doing radio occasionally. You know, I was doing the Laszlo show here for a while and got thrown off of that. Yeah. And, uh, but. Paris, I thought you asked for a dime. <laughs> the, but, I'm, you know, there's. We really built up a nice, <clears throat> nice block of weekend programming. Yeah, for Patrice, this channel. Bill Burr, and, yeah, and no, and they just didn't feel like giving up any uh, any of their fucking dough because they want to pay one guy. And it's like enough with paying one guy. We we gave you a block of programming that was working that that you could maybe spread out to uh, other places on this platform. And they mm. instead decide not to pay anyone. So now we're back to just doing reruns for the most part. I, I like the. Uh, I like. We had a uh, nice variety. fucking block. Yeah. Oh. Now yeah. it's Infinity Satellite Radio. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand uh, that, man. God I mean, damn. Fuck. Enough with paying one oh, guy. There's crazy. a lot of good shit going on, but you got to pay these guys a little bit. Patrice would be amazing on satellite radio on a regular basis. Patrice had a good show. Um, yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, he had a good fucking Everyone show. Talk about had a good show. It's great. You know, yeah. <laughs> Laszlo had, had a good show. show. Patrice had a good show. We even got Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith's podcast were on our fucking channel, and and he wanted a, just a little Bur a little dough. Burn DeRosa. Yeah. Burn DeRosa wanted just Bobby a, and just, Colin. Just a little dough. Really Not a lot of dough. A little dough. Just to say hey, thank Sometimes you. Sometimes Ant will come in. We had a great exactly. moment on Laszlo's show when Ant uh, revealed. Oh, reveal something. Right, right, exactly. We got a good moment. It was a great, it was a great reveal. reveal moment. Did he, I hear this? He, that he, was the big uh, reveal that you were single. The big reveal. Oh, shit. Let's yeah. be honest. You stay single for about a day. I've never seen somebody <laughs> so insecure. You cannot stay single. <laughs> he's staying for a, single for uh, now, uh, unless uh, uh, unless there's something I don't no, know. You know it's going to be the longest he's gone uh, it's like, being a single guy. It's like weekend. <laughs> right. And, you know, they, I'm, I'm, I'm alone most of a the time. A serial monogamous. I am alone most of the time now. I really am. Is it sad? Very alone. <laughs> very, very are you alone. Are you close to getting a bunch of dogs? No, never. No, They've ruined my furniture. Fuck that. Th does it feel good to be alone finally, though? Or you, sometimes. Or are you itching? Are you itching? Sometimes it's, are you itching? itching? No, sometimes it's nice. Sometimes I'm just sitting watching TV going like... Uh, well, I got hey, no think about man's best it. friend just swimming in your pool, happy to be there. Nah, wagging his tail nah, when you see him. I'm not a dog person they I'm, just chew your shit up well yeah oh we had an accident on my fucking nice rug you can name him something fucking italian -y. yeah <laughs> italian -y. hey come here goomba hey goomba hey, hey. hey. Uh, johnny hey spumoni my dog spumoni this is my dog teflon cannoli hey. no nah, i'm just like I, yeah by, I, by know. the way special delivery with sam and dave of course they, they do a good job but they decide they don't need money if you decide you don't need money then there's programming for you on uh, 202 and 197. I say we bring back fucking Laszlo's show, Patrice's show, and we pay some of these fucking yeah. guys. It's time I to would do it. I would do it for, 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 I'll tell you right now, I'd do it for non aggressive four figures. <laughs> non aggressive non four figures. Aggressive. Non aggressive five, aggressive four. I like it. Four non figures? I've never heard non it put that aggressive way. five figures. Ag I mean, non aggressive five figures. Right. Aggressive four. Aggressive right. four. All right. Aggressive four. I do it for aggressive four. That's eight or nine. Once a fuck right. every Saturday. That's eight or nine. <laughs> You're saying eight or nine. That's fucking a that bargain. That should be doable. Bargain. It's not. Trust me. Uh, yeah, Lazlo's <laughs> like, no. He's been through it. They got to figure Trust it. me. They walk, they walk through the door and cut pay by 75%. I had some uh, great conversations over a couple of Guinness it? with Laszlo, and uh, wow, was I just fucking floored. They got to like you figure out this shit behind the scenes. They really well, do. We had a little agreement. Did you really? <laughs> we did it for free for a long time. Because this me up and down. Like when I asked him, was you getting paid a little bit? They told me you were getting paid, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, Non-aggressive four. <laughs> you had non-aggressive four? Aggressive four? three. <laughs> aggressive three sucks. <laughs> Not aggressive. One, it. it was, it, you know, it was. Right. Uh, well, it was hey, baby. When you money, I made more money in hey. market 182 when I was in Columbia, Missouri. Aggressive two. Can I summarize? I got to summarize. We have our own channel here, uh, and uh, we're sort of happy with the, you know how the channel's doing. But we really do want to be doing more for Sirius XM, and we have the people that could do it. But for some reason, they don't want to pay anybody. They want to pay one yeah. fucking guy. We know the guy I'm talking about, and they got to change how they look at things because there's a lot of talented people that are willing to do some some serious radio for this company. Serious. Do, do you XM. think the fact that you have access to so many? Because I think this show, dude, I has access to. A lot of really I have no good doubt we can, I have no doubt we can fill up another channel with some solid programming. But you think that they would look at really the well. free, the fact that a lot of good guys come in just that, to hang? So it's like, why pay guys who will hang on your show to do their own show? Uh, oh, maybe that's. I, it. I don't. I don't. I don't know what their logic is. To be honest, I don't know. I don't know how these people mm. think. I know there's a, enough people associated with this show that we could fill up another channel and it would do way better than a lot of the channels they currently have. But they don't want to pay. No pay. Yeah. No show. I told you. It's very <laughs> obvious. So now, you know, easy. so now you get more <laughs> aggressive for maybe we'd be Dude, talking. <laughs> I don't and I don't think it's I don't think it's really healthy to have just our show on over and over again. 
You give it a little rest. You give these yeah, guys some time. Over exposure. I think so at times, and it, 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 I think in the end it helps everybody. You don't want to thin us out too much by hearing our voices over and over again when you when you could put a Patrice show on or a Laszlo so, show. But on. are they paying the, the they paying the guys that are, that affiliate with with one hundred and one? I don't know how they. I, I who knows? That's a whole other entity. Yeah, that's that's like have fucking, no idea. That's fucking Russia over there. I don't know how that works. Do you know how Russia works? Fuck's no. All right. All right. Fair enough. I know how. No uh, I know how we work, and I know we want to, you know, share a little bit here. I bet you, you get a lot of motherfuckers for an aggressive four. <laughs> aggressive. I know. The, I know the market. What's going on? There's, There's a lot of motherfuckers who do it for yeah, aggressive four. That's a I, non-aggressive, so, aggressive especially three. since they live in New York. I don't want to play. I don't want to play your cards, obviously. But there are guys that just want to feel appreciated. A little appreciation wouldn't hurt. Yeah, that, I know. It's basically saying what you just said, but I, you know what I'm trying yeah. to say? Because in the end, in the end, you guys want to try to make as much as you can. But the fact is, not like, really. No, but a, a lot, lot of these of it, guys a lot just want loyalty. But also, look, money would be nice with some loyalty. Loyalty will get you a discount. Loyalty yep. means shit. In but this but, day but, and age. but I'm saying non-loyalty. Actually, you loyal go. I want. Mid aggressive five. Right, loyalty means shit in this day and age, but yep. we still have that loyalty thing among us. Right, I understand what you do for our show, and I would love to, you know, return the favor. But for some reason, the they don't want to listen down the fucking hall to do a good job, and then maybe you know something comes out of that. Right, so you kind of go in at a discount. But right. radio still pays in in fame. You know, they still always pull that stuff of like, you'll be heard by a lot of people. It's like, that'll pay my bills, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't pay the bills. Not only, but like the the agreement we had with a lot of our comedian friends is like, well, we understand Patrice is here for free today. I think yeah. most people know that by now. But what Patrice used to get out of this was a lot of plugs. And they, they even cut down on the plugs these guys are allowed to have on our channel, which is insane to me. Really? Oh know. my God! Yeah, even though they say stop. You used to hear them. all the comic uh, promos, even when you weren't oh, here. That? Ooh, yeah, we you did. only get you only get promos when you're in studio yeah, for yeah. the most part. Now, like I have to make sure that everyone knows Patrice is playing comics next right. weekend because when you leave here, you're that's it. That's it. That's but it. Th it used to be where you know you would go into Derek's studio, right? Right. And cut oh, a that's, promo, that's cut. That's and that gone. was part Those of our deal we kind of made with you guys. Like, look, you're oh. giving us such great radio. The least we could do is still plug your gigs when you're not here. And but they, they, no, they no. oh, that's gone, oh, man. Oh, shit. You don't think it could have been that, away. that shitty 80s music they always put behind every one of those fucking yeah, things? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, great. We thought that was great. They didn't, <laughs> they didn't like the 80s they didn't music like thing. It. I, I it, kind of found it funny. It was one of those things exactly. we did that was kind of funny, and people wow. got it, and they didn't get it, and they got rid of that, too. So, whatever. Well, I, I know that I know the channel and another channel could do very well, but, you know, at this point, who am I? I'm nobody. We used well, to be somebody's. Who's they the guys to, that are still on? Who's the guys that are still alive? What are you talking about? You said Sam and somebody? No, Sam and Dave. <laughs> Sam, and Sam and Dave. Sam oh, is this Sam? Sam and Dave from Ron and Fez. Fez. Sam and kicked the end of the curve. Oh, the east side. So <laughs> east, east, east side and Sam? <laughs> east side and oh, Sam. Oh, man, I know it used to be Sam and Sam. Oh, boy, he kicked him to the curb. That little fro right? motherfucker kicked that oh, dude to the curb faster no than loyalty. shit. No loyalty. No loyalty. Sam made a dignity move that just didn't work out. Man, I, that's the scary thing. You try to make your dignity moves and just fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta make your dig make sure your dignity <laughs> move pays up. off. <laughs> yeah, you gotta make a dignity move. It better pay off. I have integrity, really. <laughs> well, all right. Listen, we're babbling now. Probably losing our audience, but I mean, I guess some of that stuff had to be said because it's been uh, going on for a while. Uh, according to E Rock, shows on one hundred and one get four hundred dollars per show and one show a week. I had a big fight with Cross about those 80s beds. Did you? Oh, I wasn't supposed to read that part. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to have it up on the screen, motherfucker. Opie's reading it like it's a teleprompter. <laughs> yeah. like, no, that was inside information. <laughs> oh. Well, you got to have some kind of fucking don't read this part. Oh, I'll draw a line next right. time. <laughs> oh, don't read this. There was a big fight. I, we thought the 80s thing was just kind of hokey and silly, and then it kind of worked. Well, you know why? It became like the I running thought it worked. It became the running gag. So like every time there was a new comic promo, yeah. you, you got excited to see like what the yeah, what 80s what, what song 80s that you haven't heard in a long time is playing the because Derek would go really deep. Of like, course. he would pull shit out of his ass. Kaja goo goo. Eh, whatever. What am I going to What are we going to do? We do what we can. So, yeah. um, what are we talking about today, Laszlo? Oh, I was, um, you know, Ant and I talk about this a lot of the, uh, the, the iPhone and various, uh, 
access to to movies and so forth. And I don't know if you guys have seen, but Warner Brothers is um, in this battle with Netflix and Redbox. You know, Redbox has got those uh, kiosks where you can sure. rent movies for oh, a buck. Oh, that weird mm. thing, right? It's they're, supermarket. They're battling them to not when a, when a movie comes out to not make it available for 28 days. Why is that? Under the assumption that people will be frustrated and then just go out and spend 20 bucks for the DVD. Oh. But these are the same people that won't do what makes sense and have simultaneous release on DVD. Because I will not set foot in a movie theater, but I would walk up to that to, to that ticket window and buy it on DVD the day it comes out. Exactly. Why can't they do that? It's making, uh, you know, you're spending more money on the no. DVD no. than the movie theater. Yeah, now, I, I think. Shutter Island comes out today. It's getting okay reviews. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you just buy the DVD today for a good a good fee too? Wouldn't you pay twenty twenty five dollars yeah, for the DVD it today? Oh, yeah. see it at home. And what is the average person paying for a movie? <laughs> yeah. And if they exactly like twenty bucks, and if <laughs> if they only made it available at the movie theaters, then the movie theaters are making money because they're the big people that are fighting simultaneous release on DVD. Right. And the. The problem the movie industry has, uh, and we bring it up a lot, and now that Laszlo's here, we could talk about it a little bit. When you go to a, a movie theater and see a movie, it, it's starting to look very old and outdated. It really is. Most people, and you don't need to have a lot of money, where you have a better system than fucking walking into these theaters and hearing the crackling of the film and all that shit. Dirty floors. All that crap. This, my my the paltry people. system is uh, much better well, than the movie. Theater. I'm trying to talk about yeah. the average Joe. You, I am yeah, the mean, average you, Joe. You're somebody who who can afford the three, two, one bowl system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. You, you got a and, cotton candy machine. And system is better. <laughs> and system is better than IMAX. So I think you're out of this uh, conversation. I'm talking about the regular guys out there putting a little home theater uh, system together. They're, most yeah. of them are better than what you're getting in uh, the movie theater. That's a good point. I never thought about how much I just don't about go Every, to the movies. As soon as I sit down, I'm yeah, like, why no am I? Reason. Why am I here? It used to be because you couldn't get that at home. Now you're getting that at home. I hate people. I can't be. <laughs> around, Thank you. I can't fucking be around people. That's what it is. But I, that's but, uh, why I hate. But going all the people movies. say they hate people. Yeah, but we know the real ones Dude. to hate. Right. It's a young person's world. When yeah. you get older, you disappear. I love my house. I don't love locking like myself it? in. <laughs> <laughs> Patrice, I could not agree with you more. I uh, I go home. I fucking. I, you know what my big thing to do is when I go home is to tend cry. to my fu yeah to cry <laughs> of loneliness, to tend to my fire in the fireplace. Nice. Oh, I have to get it lit, and then I'm constantly watching TV, and I'm always looking at my right going. Eh, I need to poke that fire a little. <laughs> and I, I get the poke around. I poke, and it's like time for another log. Throw another log on, go out back, grab a whole other bundle, and all night long, my attention is on the fire in the fireplace and the wine in my glass. Something very and I primal. Could give a yeah. shit about what's going on outside my door. Mm -hmm. Oh, could I give a shit? And I know anyway because I got cameras. But I swear I could give a shit. <laughs> hey, uh, I don't want to go to the movies. Uh, I apologize, but I, I got to go backwards. I, I don't understand people that really don't really. Listen to the show and then write something like this. Jim, uh -oh. Jim D in Chicago. Lots of people have crappy jobs, Opie. Stop whining about one that most people would be overjoyed to have. Nobody cares about the suits. Deal with it and just do the show, which you do so well. I wasn't bitching. Opie just wants to say, okay, well, thank you but was, for your advice. I wasn't bitching about my job. I'm bitching about how the channel's being run and how these guys really deserve to, A, have a show on our channel, and B, get paid a little bit of money. And let me that be was honest. My, that was the whole point this time around. Yeah, I mean, have I bitched a lot in the past? Of course, and I'll continue to bitch, yes. But that's not what I was getting at. And let me add something I'm uh, happy to with that my also. position at Sirius XM right now. I want to add something to that guy's comment. Yeah. Uh, when you have a shitty job, which I, I had, believe me, I had my share of We've very, very shitty, shitty jobs. jobs. Sh and I mean... Shitty fucking jobs. Yours shittier than mine? Yes. Yeah. I have had much shittier jobs. Did you fucking wash dishes at a mall restaurant? I washed dishes and a Chicago retard was in charge pub. and you had to listen to the retard? Yes, pretty much. <laughs> That's that, that happened worked to me. The Chicago Pizza Pub. A legitimate dishes. waterhead was in charge and my supervisor. Uh, yeah. A That's real retard. That's a pretty bad job. Full blown. <laughs>
But when you have a shitty job and shit on the dishes, and he's telling me how I'm supposed to do them, you step up to a better job and then a better job and a better job, and then you get so, to the point where you're story. talking about us, like we have these great jobs. You'll realize something when that happens to you after you're done, whatever you're doing, flipping the burger, you know, I'll do the the hack lot, whatever you're well, doing. I'm not even gonna beat the guy no, up. I just, just, just want to beat him up. To what we're saying, I'm gonna beat him up. All right, you beat him. Whatever the fuck you're doing, you're fucking squeegeeing down windows at fucking jerk joints. Whatever shit job you have, that this is such a great, better job, and we do appreciate it, I know it is, mm -hmm. you will realize one thing if you ever do motivate yourself and move forward, that no matter how good your job is, shit doesn't change. It's relative. There are it's still relative. fucking assholes that run things. There are assholes you have to work with around. There are fucking incompetence. There's fucking bullshit. It doesn't go away. When you watch TV and you watch, like, fucking Seinfeld, do you think every day was just the best day to go to work for all them motherfuckers? Right. They had days where they were yelling and going, this what? sucks, mm. fuck this asshole. Yeah. Fucking Kramer's yelling at the blacks again. Can you tag There's something. Tag me. I want in on, in on this. Tag. I want to be uh, in the ring now. And I think the reason why we talk about all this stuff that goes on behind the scenes is because you, listening to us right now, can relate Yeah, in your life. It doesn't change. Where you go, holy shit, yeah, my boss is a motherfucking asshole, and I think I know way more than he does as well. You want a, you want a prime example? Listen to Christian Bale on that oh, rant. Oh, I didn't tag you. Oh, tag <clears throat> All right, you're yeah. back in. Listen to Christian Bale on that rant about you motherfucking incompetent motherfucking amateur. Fucking amateur. That is a guy who is making movies, millions of dollars, fucking Batman, and and he's pissed at work because someone is being an incompetent asshole. And people are going to go, oh, you got the best job ever. Yeah, and you know what? Even in the best job ever, there's some asshole that pissed him the fuck <clears> off. <throat> and one more thing. Please. <laughs> yes, Patrice. I must say, yes. it's all based on selfishness because what yes. it's based on is not that he's going hey da, 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 he's going shut up oh wait and, i didn't i didn't tag coco beware hold on <laughs> shut up <laughs> sh shut up and just make me happy <laughs> or, that's, that's what it is yeah, that's, oh. shut up and do your fucking radio dance <laughs> so gonna, i can get through uh, my shitty all right, but listen, we're, gonna, we're gonna end this with jim d from chicago who has now written back on instant feedback Holy shit, this will end, end, okay. the, end, end the discussion. Hey, guys, I was in radio. It chewed me up and spit me out. <laughs> I, I work in insurance now. I have no hair left. I love oh. you guys. Listening makes me uh, makes me get through the first part of the day. Oh. Thanks for commenting. So. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> right, Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. <laughs> I, I do. Wow. Okay, I feel Look. bad. I guess maybe, maybe, maybe we don't say this enough. I absolutely still love what I do. I just get very frustrated because I just know. I do too. At I just know. I adore. It. <laughs> I just know it could be way better. Yeah. I know our show could be way better if things were done differently. I know we could run this channel better. I know we could run uh, another complete channel. I know yeah. we could run another channel and it would do well. Then I don't. I don't know. Uh, um, um, Fuck, dozens of the channels they currently have on Sirius That's XM. Think. No doubt in my mind. But they have to open up their wallets down the hall and stop paying one fucking guy and pay some other people, and uh, and we could get this done. Yeah. And like Patrice said, he doesn't even need a big fucking seven-figure salary. He's looking for, what What was it again, an aggressive four? A show. Uh, per show? Yeah. No, come on. You're not getting $8,000 a show. An aggressive... Now you're high. I thought you were talking a year. Yeah, a man. year? Yeah. How much were you getting paid before? I got fucked. How much were you getting paid? I'm sorry. A show. An aggressive four figures for a, a show? That's what you want? Too much? Let's say. Wait, how long is uh, your show? Many, but how many, And how many four is he hours. doing? It was, it one, was one, not, not one show. Well, was, I think Patrice yeah. is. I think Patrice is talking about a, like a show budget, not just his personal take home. Right? Is that what the we're talking about? The whole show. Yeah. Oh yeah. For what? Oh, what? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now, Was he buying donuts? Coffee. <laughs> right. So <laughs> I can pay. I'm assuming that Patrice means that so he's going to have two. Hold on. Now the, so I can pay him. So I can pay, pay Travis. Pay. You're, and so I can pay my boy. You just lost everybody. We thought for a year. We're like, that's very nice. A year. For an aggressive four for the year. You know, you you would you knew. This is, this I, is, no, he didn't know. I he thought, thought I meant no. four for the year? Well, Laszlo, well, help me out. Yeah. Four. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, That's why I said an aggressive Dude. two 
Two. Or, or yeah, an aggressive two, a non-aggressive I, three. Wait, 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 wait. Look at Patrice's face. I don't disagree with you, Patrice. Patrice, listen to me. Okay. I don't disagree with you. But I've been brainwashed enough by these fucking idiots that the, we would. Oh, that was preposterous! <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I was I was going I, I was going low. Like. Do, do I agree with you? Yes, but it's it's crazy talk. They'll not even fucking sit down with you with that attitude. Oh, with with a with a with a with I'm a, just an hoping, aggressive four. Yes, I'm hoping just to get you a little something something. They they would laugh at you. I think a mi unfortunately a middle. Are you worth it? Yes, but they would laugh at you. <laughs> and that's the problem that. Uh, that we're Have you ever done any financial negotiations with the new regime? With this place? Yeah. N not mm. at all, no. At XM there was no contract. They, they just you just they just, you walked in, they just gave you money. They just did do whatever you want to do. Mm. It was a party. Really? Over here they like got there's paperwork. Yeah, there's a lot of royalties and Well, I got to sign some ridiculous thing every time I walk in here for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's just I've got I to the point where I put an X on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Right. I'm just trying to get you a little something. They would, oh. they would go. F you want an aggressive four for a, a, a one day a, a week show? They wouldn't even listen to you. Oh, okay. Well, good. I'm glad to hear that. They'd be like, for what? I'm glad to hear that because I'm. Gonna, but I, I don't want to confuse people. You absolutely deserve that, but mm -hmm. they're not going to listen. And then again, people might they're be listening, listen going, to that. "What the fuck's wrong with him?" But that's, they're not going to listen to that. That money is low. And that's to spread out among your people because yeah. you take care of your people. Yes, but right. that, that, but I could ask for that for me, yeah. like for a show, for a radio show, yeah. to, to to entertain fucking people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a. I I thought you knew. Well, hey, fuck it. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm not mad. I, get, I like coming here for free. I'm being I don't honest. Get I'm too, being I don't want to get I'd too deep take none into specifics. Less, you know what I'm saying? You into know? specifics of other people's contract negotiations with management. I'm just saying. I'm throwing that out there. I feel a bit uncomfortable getting into specifics. Sure. Of contract negotiations mm -hmm. with other people and the brass here. Just bringing it up. Wait, what happened? He just threw me under the bus. Are you throwing these guys under the bus? No, I just did he throw so me think, under the bus. I think we've, I think, I think we've hit the point where we if we get into up? any more detail, there's going to be trouble. With who? With management. Oh fuck! Because you're really, you know, not really supposed to discuss that kind of stuff. What part? Of, what part was bad? That's what I know. Well, we're trying to negotiate a deal for Patrice. Can you write down the part that was bad? At? Um, Ixnay on the the Russian guy. No, talking no. about Russia was all right. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just think uh, uh, any specific dollar amounts um, negotiating. I don't tactics, think we. I don't think we. Uh, said, um, you know. Okay. Well, that no. I, that's why I said right, before. And right, here's right. the thing. You know, and, and, I wouldn't want to get you guys in trouble. I can't I get in do. trouble. That's what I mean. I don't give a shit about you. Okay, I'm talking about me. Right, fair enough. <laughs> I'm talking well, you about get, me. Right. You get fucked. <laughs> <All right. laughs> well, because now you got me paranoid. Just no, so, no, I think we're hold fine on. So the issue is not confused. All I'm saying is this. That we have a lot of talented people around us yeah. that I think would do well for the company. Fuck doing well Absolutely. for our channel. Yep. And Patrice is on the short list. Laszlo's on the short list. Yep. Uh, who else? There's a few people. Bill Burr, certainly. We got more people on our shit list than short list. Right, which right. Is, uh, so all I'm saying, because I don't want it to be confused, is not only would it be good for us personally, because we can make this channel like stronger, I think, I think it would be good for the company. Yes, it would. But for some reason, they're in a place where they're not willing to do the right thing. <laughs> to do the right thing. That's all I'm trying to say in the end. I wish I knew what was going on. Because I'm lost. I'm, no, I'm I, looking I, at him trying to figure it out. So, oh, no, no, you no, pretty, nothing, I'm pretty, I can pick it up, but it's I'm going to nothing that yeah. deep. That's I, right. It's not that deep. Problem. So the smoke monster just came in this room. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm confused I, as fuck. No, no, no I, understand what, I understand what Ant's saying. But, I mean, it's yeah. really nothing that deep. I just... Yeah. I'm just making sure we don't go I down you. another road. I got you. Where you start like talking about things that are written in people's deals See, that say you I can't gotcha. talk about certain things. So, okay. Yeah. You know, we're not looking That's for favors here. I think I think a Patrice O'Neill, a Bill Burr, a Laszlo. A no, few, no, no. A few others <laughs> would just be good for the company. Yeah, yeah. But that's absolutely. not. I'm not in that position. They they don't really think that right now for whatever yeah. reason. And I'm just sticking up for my guys, and I think that's okay. But is radio in in general? No one gives a shit about it no more. Uh, yeah, no, that's it's, pretty much it. Regular. So how radio? do people get their thing that they that no, radio was before? Like, well, regular I radio, radio's, regular radio's fucked. It's, I mean, 
I think satellite radio still has a, a bright future. I think mean, the stock's up. Everything seems to be going in the right direction. So regular radio, I'm, I'm 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 holding out hope that this is the new thing. Regular we're, radios, we're not, we're, we're not looked at as the new thing still. They they laugh at satellite radio shows still, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Hmm. But hopefully that'll change in another year. Regular radio is fucked unless you're poor. Yeah. That's if you look, true. I, I just looked at the uh, the ratings for the top uh, the top ten markets and what what formats were in the in the top ten markets that were doing really well. It's bullshit. And it is uh, religious crazy people, uh, <laughs> Spanish people, and um, <clears throat> some some of Patrice's people. And uh oh, fat it's, people, smart people, <laughs> no, ah, niggers. Go. Oh God, <laughs> damn! Which, which people? Oh God, this is multiple wow. choice. Where's my all the above? Where's my number? Where's my number two pencil? <laughs> all, all of the above, motherfucker. But if you look at some markets. Spanish radio is is then the, the, the oh, number I two know. or number three station. Yep. And not even, uh, you know, in L.A. and stuff, they're number one. Even in the suburbs, though, you're getting to the points where, uh, you know. Spanish stations, number, God yeah, like you said, number three. I just went back to Oklahoma, and there are so, there's Spanish radio stations up and down the dial, <coughs> and there's areas that people are scared to go to because they say that there's Mexican gangs running Have parts of Oklahoma watched, City. You ever watch that show Gangland? It's Great on show. like A&E and shit like that, or one of those things. It's fantastic, but sometimes I'm, I'm like, there's gangs in Nebraska? The Wisconsin Wooga yeah, yeah, Exactly. <laughs> they horrify all the cheese factories. So you can't make cheese unless you give me money, motherfucker. <laughs> they ran the cheese cartel out of Wisconsin. <laughs> yes. The Wisconsin cheese heads. The and cheese. they ain't bullshit. <laughs> they, all got, <laughs> they all got cheese tattooed on their necks, motherfucker. With a rat and a gun, nigga. Up in Wisconsin, up in and they're you, running the cheese uh, <laughs> contingency in prison. Gangland is hilarious. Gangland is great. Oh my god, there's a. Oh my god, in Rhode Island? Rhode Island's got a biker gang <laughs> that's fucking selling it's meth and racking head with fucking tire irons. You're like, <laughs> fucking Rhode Island? Oh, really? really? Right. <laughs> Gangland Shaking down is bed hilarious. And breakfast. Gangland. <laughs> Fucking gangland's great. They always got the retired guy. I had to get out the. I had to get out the game. I got out the game, but you know, I still consider myself a oogly boogly. <laughs> oogly boogly forever, baby. No, oogly, but I just <laughs> oogly boogly forever. Throws up his oogly boogly it gang ain't worth sign. it, man. It just ain't worth it. it Doing worth twenty it. years for the oogly booglies and I ain't lost, got my back. I lost a lot of brothers to the oogly boogly, <laughs> man. Motherfucking in the cheesy weasleys. <laughs> <laughs> they was up on uh, 50, 58th Street was our, our, our term. And then the Cheesley Weasleys. <laughs> Cheesley Weasley. We, we used to fight the curves, them motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesley Weasleys. Never got along with And the Cheesley Weasleys are so powerful, they run the streets from inside the prisons. Outnumbered 10 to 1, though, the Oogly Booglies were still able to hold control. <laughs> 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 and they all answer to Edward James Olmo somehow. <laughs> God damn. Gangland is hilarious. It is fucking hysterical. I gotta watch my back uh, in fucking in Minnesota. Yeah, like where do really? I where, where am I safe from gangs? Oh. I'm in fucking uh, I Iowa. What the fuck? I met, I met this guy in Missouri, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm a crip." I'm like, "Do you realize where you are? You're in Missouri. You're in Missouri." Not a crip. Get to the fucking coast where you belong. Yeah, push it one coast or another. Pick it and fucking then then call yourself. What kind of gang oh, member says God. you know where I'm gonna settle down where it's real hard? Kansas, nigga. The Weasley Beasleys are trying to move in, <laughs> but were shut down quickly by the Oogly Booglies. <laughs> <laughs> and the Nebraska Corny McCornies, the Corny McCornies versus the Cheesley Weasleys, and are everyone scared of the Oogly Booglies? <laughs> As they run up and down the East Coast. <laughs> what? The Oogly Boogies run the East Coast? I never knew. <laughs> That's why I watch Gangland. We have umbrellas tattooed on our cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, teardrop faggot. <laughs> umbrellas. Got an ear of corn got, tattooed on it. We got a whole eye. blizzard. <laughs> ear of corn. <laughs> Yeah, that means we t took care of business. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll a few corn cobs.
Hobbs do? In my day. It's and what's the season, <laughs> nigga? What's the, che- what's the cheesy weasel's model? Nigga, we, we, we get better with age, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the cheesy weasels. <laughs> Running motherfuckers down the combine. <laughs> <laughs> a drive-by in a combine. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking wheat and chaff are going in two uh, different directions. Little lead out in the front. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking cheesy weasel. And the oogly boogies. <laughs> Don't fuck around. around gangland. Do not fuck around. Gangland's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this month, oogly boogly's uh, on gangland. God damn. Uh, dude, you ever watch gangland? A little bit. Oh, oh my God. God. God damn it, man. It is so funny. Nice. Really? For real? I'm, oh. more, I'm more worried if I went too far with the management talk because Anthony motherfucker. No, 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 no. I didn't want to throw a now. fucking God God damn. Damn. You was just, just I think he was just uh, precautionary, right? I was being, it was a total yeah, precaution. He was, you know, was nervous to where it was going to possibly go. Right. Anthony, Anthony was, makes a lot of sense. That was That's diplomacy fine. before the gunfire mm-hmm. started. But I think they get confused. We're just trying to make ourselves and the, and, and the fucking channel and the company better. That's all. Just trying to be team players. Right. And Believe it or not, yes. Yeah, exactly. Just to be clear, the message gets confused sometimes. I will do a show for 25% of what he is asking for. (laughs) He's on the country. That that was a bit high. God bless you, but that was a bit high. Which is still a bit high. Which is still (laughs) non aggressive fool. Exactly. (laughs) Still non aggressive fool. Lazlo came in. He typed up a whole text sheet for us. We better talk about some of this stuff. I love this stuff, man. Lazlo, did we finish the movie thing with Warner Brothers and Netflix and Redbox? Kind of, right? Yeah, I, I think they should release uh, movies sooner than they do, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Rob Patrice's really magazine, the National Geographic, I picked it up because cool. it's Black History Month. But uh, oh. this uh, this issue... That Are they still up... putting in the, like, the good stuff? No, you... this, whole, this whole issue is about the polygamous. Oh, really? Dude, it is some... People with 12 homely white bitches in their house. Yeah, all crossbred and fucking... And they all, what is it about... They all wear prairie dresses. Some of the unsexiest... Yeah, it's, Laura Ingalls uh, they look, wear. They all look fucking horrendous. Not a hot one. Because they're all Martin. mental patients. If they want to fucking yeah. be in a family where there's one husband and then 12 other wives that they're walking around and... What does he just pick one no. out and sleep with it? And no, there's there's one kids galore. <laughs> there's no. it. it they, I don't even consider them women. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a frumpy bitch every once in a while, but if you got a household filled with them, what is that hey, doing for that's you? What my show's about? What's that doing for you? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. What's the name of his fucking show? <laughs> what the fuck are we gonna do now, <laughs> man? Gonna do now I got three all the period. Is this is this this one guy's wife? You you have to explain that reference. Nobody knows. You you cross big big love with aliens. Big love. That's just hilarious. That's it. Big love. (laughs) We're gonna do now, man. Why don't you let her be in charge? Why don't you put all of her in charge? Who's oh, gonna is... sew the prairie dresses? <laughs> oh, this is fucking great. It's fucking great. What are we supposed to do now? Oh, god damn. Uh, <laughs> we got someone very mad at the oogly boogie. The oh, 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 no. Uh, oh, Richard in oh, Columbia. No. Richard. What happened? Yes, I, I am a member of the oogly boogie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I knew we fucked with the wrong gang. But, jeez. I'm, I'm very damn, I'm very damn offended. Uh, uh, I have. Family oogly boogly, and they have bad, bad oogly boogly drive by. Uh, I need uh, uh, an apology. <laughs> Radio personality Anthony Cumia and comedian Patrice O'Neill <laughs> once down. stepped over the line of the oogly booglies. Uh, they paid dearly. As you're dead with a, just a block of cheese on your head. <laughs> As That's a fucking warning to the motherfucker. other motherfuckers. Don't tease the cheesy weasleys. <laughs> <laughs> Their calling card is a slice of Swiss with your eye looking through one of the holes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, eh? All right, Laszlo. I, I, I'm trying, Laszlo. I'm trying for you. The technophile. Come on. Oh, God. Got some good shit here. The ugly boogly is a bit better than the God technophile. Damn, I love what, it. What else you got here on the sheet there, Laszlo? Uh, well, you know, HBO has launched a new streaming service. If you have uh, Verizon Files, do you have that, Anthony? No, uh, I, don't no, I don't. Shit. I'm a split household. Really? Have, Blacks on one side? And- yes, exactly. I'm very... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I have uh, cable vision. Uh, for my television, yet I have Verizon 
Files for my yes, files for my uh, internet. How is is that is that good files? I you know what <coughs> Be, because shit. of the live from the compound thing, I have so many phone lines coming in and and uh, the bandwidth from just putting out so much video. When I was on uh, Optimum Online, it sucked ass, and then I went to Verizon and perfect. So uh, you know I. I, I, it was demonstrated to me in my house. It works better. That's one of the Sorry. things that's frustrating about cable internet access is you're basically sharing the resource with all your neighbors. Yeah. So, so yeah. whenever it's dragging, it's because the kid next door is you know downloading, <laughs> yeah, downloading, downloading some, Pirates of the Caribbean. His, his fucking uh, parents are gone, and it's porn fest fucking 2010. But downloading movies, everything else. I yes. think this FiOS thing is not going the way it's supposed to. The infrastructure is really. Like you gotta pay, they gotta pay. Like it has to be neighborhoods that uh, like have to vote and allow it to be in there. You have to dig up the holes. Fiber, in the fiber is difficult and, and expensive. To I lay. had the fiber in my in my neighborhood already, so I had the fiber optics in my neighborhood for FiOS. But uh, I, I stuck with cable vision because is I, there a big what? difference between the speed of FiOS and? Cable, like you, there you can was a see, huge fucking difference. You click something. It seems like click. when I click, bam, when click, I cable bam, over, click, it seems when bam. I when I click cable, it just goes. It does go. It doesn't. It doesn't seem like it could go faster. But FiOS goes faster. FiOS, as far as my internet goes, is ridiculous. It's so fast. But it, it, click, boom, pages up. Click, boom, video. Not click, even boom. a loading thing. Yeah. Not, it's so fast. And then the fucking, but the TV, cable vision. Here's what I get to watch on a daily basis. So what? Uh, go. Uh, that uh, pixelated uh, shit, uh, man. Uh, uh, fucking pixelating and the sound skipping. It's still mosaic, and you got shit it's that all real. the time. I don't have it that much. Constantly. You got too much shit going on in your house. Probably that's what it is, Anthony. Jeez, you got, got too much stuff is. going it's on. It's the government house. saying no. we got to we yeah. investigate. They investigate. Shut him down. He's watching too many <laughs> forensic files. <laughs> I have a Time Warner, and that shit happens all really? the time. Really? I don't get it much. It doesn't even matter what channel I'm watching. Not like Anthony. They're shoving too much through the same pile. That's what it is. So FiOS is doing this thing now with HBO, where if if you're a FiOS customer, you can. Uh, access HBO content online now, like 600 different shows on demand. Strong. So that's, now I could go from strong. my computer yep. right into my television <laughs> and watch it on TV. So I could just go through my what? But HBO only line? FiOS people, though. Only yes, FiOS. right now it's only FiOS. Oh yeah, get this. They had they had a um. What the fuck was uh, Cablevision doing? Oh, where you can uh, program your DVR from your computer uh, on on Cablevision. So I'm like, ooh, that's handy. Let me try. Because I don't have, I have cable vision, but because I have Verizon, Fios, they won't allow me to do it because I don't have both of their internet services. Ooh. I don't have internet and TV. I have cable vision, so I should be able to use their fucking internet and, and set my DVR if I'm away. Cocksuckers, though, want, want you to, you know, have everything under them. And the phone, how many calls I had to get to have their fucking phone system, too? Cable vision fucking... How come you don't have the files for the for the TVs? I don't know. I I'm really thinking about it, but and you hear from everyone, that's great. It's the best thing ever. That's so stupid. So you don't you don't know. And then God, Toulouse News Twelve, Long Island. Yeah. Oh fuck. That's I love good. how that's a selling point where they actually run commercials where it's like, well, they're losing News Twelve. <laughs> oh, so I can watch twelve hour old news about fucking Hempstead. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that's so fucking I don't local. need News Twelve. You went local today, my oh, brother. Oh hell yeah. All right, what else, there, Laz? Um, there was that school in uh, Pennsylvania where they um, were handing laptops out yeah, to high school. There's a story in the paper uh, today. This. Yeah, they're handing out laptops to uh, high school kids, and I guess the principal brought a kid in and suspended him. Uh, they were they were accessing the webcams on the yeah uh, on the laptops and said that they caught the kid doing something, uh, engaging in improper behavior in his home. Jack now, is but here's the He's deal: jacking. they're handing out the fucking computers. And being able to remotely access the camera on the computer without the knowledge of the person that is using the computer. So the school gives you a laptop, you take it home, and there's somebody going and looking at your fucking house, the inside of your house without your knowledge. That's fucked up right there. I think the school could be... I think the school's in more trouble than the kid is oh, I for jacking off I in front so. of his fucking uh, laptop. You, I mean, who hasn't done that? So, right? Jesus <laughs> Please. 
And that's what kids are going to do with it, is they're going to be jerking. What are you going to do? Go home. Yeah, i got to go. This really helps me with my medical work. Wi- Wikipedia. I love this. Yes, let me check. I, I always wanted to see some of the famous quotes of the 20th century. <laughs> and uh, two clicks ba- away, and you're fucking, oh, yeah. <laughs> fucking get me some kind of lube. And I love how these, these schools think that if they get Wi-Fi access... Throughout the school grounds, that it's going to enhance learning somehow. Um, They've got some schools are putting uh, Wi-Fi on buses on the school buses, oh, really? so that the kids with the laptops can. You know, they say, "Oh, the kids are much better behaved." So we get real-time beatings of little white kids <laughs> on the buses. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> hey, people. look, it's happening as we speak. Oh shit! <laughs> the beatings of white kids. The little white kids getting beat up on the buses is really, and the bus driver just. <laughs> right. We couldn't even fucking stick our hands out the windows when I was a kid. They'd look at that giant mirror up there. Now they got closed circuit cameras and fucking TVs up by the, the bus, uh, the driver and shit. All he had was that wrinkly mirror that he'd look up and go, get your hands in the window. And now they got cameras know, all over the micro place. cams of people just uh, getting their heads fucking pummeled in for their lunch money. <laughs> Anthony, Sean Kelly, this is uh, bra- hey, Sean Kelly. from Massapequa Park. Breaking, hey. breaking news. News 12 just announced that JFK has been assassinated. So. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> so they're getting close to, to Jackie. They're getting close to being current. <laughs> Liza? Uh, there was a, a cop in the, you with you. Virginia who's uh, in trouble. He pulled this guy over for drunk driving. And for some reason, took the guy's mobile phone and found a bunch of pictures of of him banging his girlfriend on the phone. Which I don't know how that's part of the traffic why stop. Would, yeah, if you're a Dewey, why would they then look? Maybe the guy was phone. texting or something while he was driving. No, so I, the, the he, cop says, "Give me that fucking phone." I don't think they have a right to look into your fucking phone. Uh, obviously, they don't. But like how, how to get right. to a point? Like <laughs> yeah. Laszlo saying, how to get to the point where yeah. the cop is going through your phone now? Oh, the law so is he, actually ooh. now saying that your phone is just like your wallet. So just holy like the, shit! No, yep. So when they That's, go through your wallet for like ID and stuff yep. like that after they arrest you, that they have the right. So this uh, there was this guy, Sergeant Matt Borders. He pulled this guy over, found a bunch of uh, the pictures of this guy taken of himself banging his chick, and he announces on the radio that private pictures were available for their for uh, other police <laughs> officers viewing and enjoyment. Oh shit! And the picture must have, they must have been good. Um, and a fed. So the guy sued. And a federal judge said they uh, the police couldn't be held responsible and they didn't violate the guy's constitutional rights. Wow. Yeah. How? How? Because how? it's over, nigga. Yeah, it right. is. It really yeah, is. Yeah, it's exactly what we were talking about earlier. It's a wrap. It's over. Yeah, so been, the Supreme been Court, been over, over the last yeah, 10 years, has really weakened a lot of the, the, the supposed rights that you had. Electronic to... medium is a weird fucking thing. That's the only thing I'll give them. It's like, it's a weird area where it's... Because it doesn't really exist. These are magnetic impulses, electronic impulses, that when put in the right places, form this, that, or the other thing. So, like, what gives them the right to to look at it? Or, or in, you know, investigate, look into your phone, your <laughs> contacts, your fucking well, pictures. Give them the right your... and they just feel like it. Is that now it's too late to turn back. It's too, like... You know what That's it is? The, the, they, the people, the real soldiers, like the real people who are like, what the fuck are up on this shit? Mm-hmm. Sc- cr- screaming. They've been screaming and people convinced that they were crazy. Mm. But now the people who are surprised by this are fucking like cornballs. Like people that go, oh my God, I can't believe they're doing that. Who's going to do something? All the people that they put in prison <laughs> for being crazy. <laughs> yeah. Now it's left to you, bitch, with your mouth open going, how can they do this? It's too late. That's why now doing people it. are catching on more. But but do you look back and hit? Because I I hate when it's like you start thinking you're at this moment in history where it's like, wow, I think people are catching on and this might be a turning point for something. And then you look back in history and realize, oh, that happened in like '54. Yep. Yeah, that happened in '54, and nothing ever came of it. Or the, oh yeah, that that was <coughs> some other episode that. You know, nothing ever Orange came 32. up. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. A big crash or <laughs> Nazi parties or things like that. In 32. But that's, I, 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 you, I, I like to that. think, like, yeah. especially with all the electronic media out there and everything, that people are kind of catching on to things. But then you just look like a dumb conspiracy theorist. <coughs> but they catch on to things, but they, paint they guy. people <laughs> think it's just not going to happen to them. It's too late now. Now it's like, now all the real, like, people who will do something... Now the rights are so askew 
that the police and whoever else is willing, again, regular citizens, me yeah. and you, who put on a uniform, and and a lot of, and here's another thing about some of the police and some of the people in authority, <clears throat> especially women cops, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was driving through the Holland Tunnel, and just two girl cops, just girls, not like not animals, <laughs> just <laughs> girls, right? Girls. And I'm looking at them, and I'm like, you know, they they don't understand how to have authority j just walking down the street. Like, how to be, somebody go, I right, you have swagger, sure. you have something where you go, man, I, I'm going to respect this person because they exist. Their, all their respect comes from the fact that somebody appointed them a badge and a gun. So they're going to have to exact, they're not getting natural respect. So they, they now get to fucking just shoot you. <laughs> they get to fucking tase you and kill you. The people who give them problems, while everyone else is going do to do to do, driving by as as I'm dying in the middle of the street because I'm trying to fight for my rights, which is fighting for your rights. The the fucking weak people that let this happen, it is over. It's already happened. It's fucking yeah. over, and you got a bunch of weaklings. You know, like Kenny, I respect as a cop. Kenny can <laughs> arrest you if he's not a cop. <laughs> Kenny. Doesn't need the respect of fucking having a gun and a badge yeah. to get respect. But these two girls, just in, in no offense, but just little girls. Th the fact is that you're a cop because I allow you to be one. What did you What did you <laughs> yell at these bitches out the window? Yeah, I want to know what, what happened. No, no, I'm not fucking. Did they pull you over? No, you it's just a saw it's them. a basic. And it was what a, are they gonna do? Right. Sometimes That's when it. you see those, those, especially here in Manhattan, you'll see it. And, and all it is is a, a chick in a cop uniform. It's like yep. you got no authority. Yeah, you, oh, you, no. Then you have the authority that I say you have because I don't want the rest of the gang to beat the dog That's shit right. out of me. All you got or is a, shoot me. Right, you got a radio to call the real people to come to and, come I mean, harass seriously, me. Seriously, and it's not just a, a sweeping fucking insult. It's just the fact there's a lot of man cops mm -hmm. that you go ugh. It's and again, I might have said this before, but the TSA, our first line of defense, government-wise, yeah. is a fat cunt who wants to go home at three in the afternoon versus a guy who will die, yeah, trying to kill Take me. a bullet. I'm a bitch who's <laughs> trying to get home to watch Maury on time. Who's like, can you please put your uh, computer in the di take your shoes off? And she's happy about the authority she has. So it's her <clears throat> versus a guy that's willing to strap explosives to his brain. Right. The ethic of a person <laughs> who's practicing to die can versus, can you please uh, take out, it's, this is 3.2 ounces. You have to throw this away because we're protecting you for your safety. This is for your safety. Is it for my safety? How, really How after 9-11 did they say, you know what we need for security? Let's go through the projects and recruit some people. Absolutely. fucking <laughs> fucking lootly the, the dregs of humanity. Can you? Waterheads. A lot of, I travel to these, <laughs> a lot of waters. Can you please do <laughs> when I go up to the fucking thing, right? I I read the TSA and I go, listen. And again, I, not to be fucking redundant, I've said this before. I try to have as much dignity as I can have. I dress at home. I want to keep my fucking clothes on. You have to remove <laughs> your shoes. You have to remove your coat. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can keep everything else on and choose to be wanted. So if you go an hour ahead. To, to, you, you got a three o'clock flight. If you usually leave it at one, mm. leave at twelve, so that you can cause problems. And don't <laughs> don't talk about bombs. Don't talk about no, just no. say, um, sir, and go beep 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 beep. Because I got a lot of jeans that just have buttons. Yeah, that'll make the shit go off. I go, I'll take a check. Because <sighs> you know why? They hope they're lazy. Because they, they don't want to wand you because they're fat and they have to bend down and they have to thoroughly do their job. So they try to make... And you feel this on purpose just to yes. make their, their day yes. miserable? Yes. If I have a 3 o'clock flight, I'm at the airport at, at 11.45. Just causing problems. Causing problems. fucking problems just to maintain God my fucking dignity. Just won't. to maintain a little that, bit of it. Absolutely. All right. We're, we're all Holy wrapping up shit. here. shit.
Because so we gotta, we got to like watch this Tiger Woods thing, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's the big, uh, no, that's that's big be, get. That should be on like all day. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger oh, Woods channel today. They're, they're just going to play that over and over again. Who gives a shit? Laptops are closed. Tiger Woods. I don't want to go. Where y'all going? You could stay. Just I'm stay going until to your house. What are you doing? I'm I want fine. to see this closet. Oh, yeah. I did the, the closets closet yesterday. The closet yeah, good, go. man. Good. Yeah, you're getting How long is it going to take? Only a week or so. Really? Hey, fast. Got, Ten did, days, something did, like that. Did you give him like, the whole thing? Like, I need this here. Oh, I need fuck that, yeah, I, I did. This. Fuck yeah. So, I did. what you do is, like, Shit. between, what, it, nine and five or something? They come and then they, they, they every day? They said it's easy. We'll see. Oh, they, yeah, they go fast. I need room. They go fast. I need fucking room. Mind me packing up. I have an appointment. Yeah, we're all fucking packing up. Where are you I gotta go to my house. Patrice, you wanna stay <laughs> What what fucking license gotta, are you applying for now? <laughs> <laughs> fucking butterfly knife? Ninja <laughs> stars, nigga? You wanna carry concealed? I have a <laughs> trainer <laughs> coming over, yo. <laughs> a trainer? Yeah. He's getting back into working yeah. out this afternoon. Yeah, he's getting back into working out. You need to make out. it to the gym? You get, they, the, they come yeah. to you? You know what it is? Because I have like I have an exercise room. But I need like the, the, the I, proper I need more equipment. stuff. So I have a treadmill and shit, but I need like some weights and some other stuff. So I got a trainer coming over and then he's just gonna fucking come over and I won't have to go to the gym. Another place I won't have to go. Hilarious. I, I like going. His home. exercise room is a master bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's the other master I've bedroom. Seen the other master bedroom. <laughs> I've never seen the exercise room. I've seen it's the gun right, closet. It's right off the master bedroom. The treadmill. You've seen the treadmill. Oh, that's treadmill right. Just, you call that an exercise room? It has a shower. Yeah. And hey, listen, it has a shower. There's nothing else in there but a treadmill. He has a, he has, and he had a new shower put in the, the jailhouse ones with the brick that he don't. Right. It's, it's just an open shower if he works out. <laughs> <laughs> so he can he can snap you while you're yeah. overworking out with a towel. <laughs> you need you need a friend. I could be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> the system? Why don't you guys continue? I'm leaving, motherfucker. I'm leaving. Oh, see, push comes to shove, you're out the door too. Hey, stay for a high a, three, a, a low two feet. <laughs> right, and I'll stay. <laughs> give me a strong. What is it, fucker? <laughs> give me a strong lunch, and I'll. Stay. Stay until 11. Uh, Patrice will be at Comics next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday here in New York City. Highly recommend you go see him. Uh, fucking Comics is a great club, and Patrice yeah. obviously and is a great Bobby comedian. And me and Bobby are doing that thing in Atlanta Yeah, City, March you know? 6th in yeah. uh, Trump Marina. Yeah, thank that, you. That's for a big uh, show. I think a lot of us should go down there and uh, yeah, support go and that. hang out, man. And uh, Laszlo. And uh, GTA Chinatown Wars is out on the iPhone now. Damn, iPhone? That's yes. pretty cool. Uh, and also, uh, episodes from Liberty City, Grand Theft Auto, is coming out for PlayStation 3 and uh, PC March 30th. Oh, thank you for the gift, sir. Uh, sure. Yes, thank you. And uh, Red Dead Redemption comes out at the end of April. Looking right, forward guys. to that one. Oh, you might hear some surprises. You might that. hear some surprises. Yeah. If you need weapons, you might have to visit somebody it, it, on this show. And if you hear Opie, that will be a, a surprise. <laughs> I'm a loser. You, you're the fucking guy who sells the upgrades? <laughs> somebody <laughs> is? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Motherfucker, why didn't you call me to be in this? Game. <laughs> I was gonna upgrade gun guy. I was You're upgrade mother, gun guy. Are, are we allowed to say that? I was gonna. No, we're well, not. We're just not saying anything. <laughs> I was gonna put Patrice in the game, but I didn't know if you could sound like it was 1902. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> if you need a gun upgrade, go go rise right over there. <laughs> and then the character has a choice to shoot you or hang you before he goes upgrade his gun. Fucking douche. <laughs> He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. The shoot or hang button. <laughs> press X to hang gotta, Patrice. And you gotta press the B real fast to keep him hung. <laughs> He's wiggling. <laughs> uh, 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 holy fuck. That, that X button is gonna be worn oh, out. That is funny shit. <laughs> You are wrong. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Patrice, right, take it easy, man. Last one, anything else? Weekend. Good? That's it. I'll be over to Anthony's yeah. house tomorrow night. Yes, oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Fucking Laszlo's doing his show from uh, the compound all, tomorrow. All the stuff that Laszlo wanted to talk about on our show, exactly. he'll, he'll do tomorrow at Anthony's house. Over a few beers, a few yeah. Guinness. Sorry, the that, keg's yeah. full. Patrice takes up a lot of time, Laszlo. You understand. That's fine. The oogly booglies. Oogly right. booglies and roll. cheesly weasleys. <laughs> there was still some good shit in there. So, cheesly Hey, Black weasleys. History Month, uh, we're going to fucking look at this person today and we'll see you guys monday have a great weekend and, uh, 
To celebrate Black History Month, the Opie and Anthony Show is paying tribute to those legendary African Americans without whom this country would not be the melting pot it is today. Today, we honor the loyal and lovable Lackey Smoke Porterhouse from the movie Caddyshack. Always at the ready, Porterhouse would not tolerate brown outies parked in Judge Smell's parking place, wax build up on the judge's shoes, or racial epithets in the judge's mouth. Have you heard the latest one about the Jew, the Catholic, and the colored boy who went to heaven? Oh, boy. Now, you son of a bitch, I'll fix you, you son of a bitch.